Wow, 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 wow. Oh my god, I'm about to play this game. is the vibes right now? Whoa. Oh my god, it's starting with the cutscene? Kai's Kitchen, thank you so much for the tip. Keeps uh, getting thicker. thicker. Descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Zelda could be down here. Oh my god, this is crazy. What? What? You just you we're just we're just here now? Okay. What the fuck? Look at <laughs> look at our hearts! Oh yeah, we have, we have the sword. Oh my god, no way. Wow, okay. All right. Yeah, what the hell? Hey, this game's gonna, this game's going to be like nothing. We start with full hearts. That's crazy. Whoa. Baby game. Baby game spotted. Holy shit. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. Why don't you ever speak? We do not know what waits below, <coughs> so we need to be ready for anything. But. I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Okay. This is so weird. I cannot believe I'm just I'm just playing it now. Is this a baby? What the shit? Whoa! Oh my god, the like noticeable resolution drop when you move the camera this yeah oh my god this is what um i the one thing of like review content that i did actually skim through i didn't watch the whole thing but i did skim through a little bit of like digital foundry's video on this game and like they pointed this out and like i'm like oh god <laughs> I, I hope i get distracted by video game gameplay enough to not notice because right now it's like super noticeable because it's like the first thing i'm seeing I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. When I was a child, I asked my father if there was anything below the castle. He told me there was, though seeing it for ourselves or even discussing the matter was forbidden. No one in our family knew anything more than that. I can recall what my father said even now. No one must ever venture beneath the castle. Not even one of us. But not even one of us. He said this warning had been passed down through my family for as long as anyone could remember. We need to continue to explore this underground area. Forbidden or not. The source of the gloom is down here somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> she keeps going. <laughs> Damn, she's got a lot to say. Sorry, but it's, I've been cooped up in my bedroom and my, my diary got burned by a divine beast. <laughs> in the calamity. Um... I am determined to discover the connection between this place and the emergence of the gloom. Let's keep on going. We're sure to find some clues to all this ahead. What about a foot? What? Why was that the first thing you've ever spoken? Huh? Link! Hmm. The Master Sword. The Mussy Sword. 
It must be sensing something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. <gasps> we must be careful as we move deeper. <laughs> Don't call it that. Um, I can do whatever I want. Damn, this they got they got slow intro walking sections in this game. This game got triple A as fuck. I love it. Finally. Is this why the game is $70? <laughs> Cause they put this shit in here. $70 game be like, you are walking, you are walking, you are walking, you are walking. I'm joking, by the way. Some of my favorite games begin with you walking. Um, like quap. <laughs> These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? Or sorry, the zo Zoni? Zonai? It should be Zonai. Swing sword. <laughs> right now? Okay. <laughs> Is this- is this what the kingdom is crying about? <gasps> These carvings! I'm sure they're Zonai- Zon- Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago, in a time of earliest legend. They possess godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. <sighs> Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. She's taking pictures of me. <laughs> Hey, make sure you get my good side. That's not your voice. What? That's not. What? That's not it. Yeah, sorry. Why does Link sound like Sonic? Cause he wants to get out of here at the speed of sound, baby. Is this what the Zonai looked like? They seem so different than us. Such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Dude, if Link was Sonic and had a super form, would it be called Hyperlink? Minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two. <sighs> you know, only only the brave plus two warriors in chat will meet me in heaven. <laughs> Cause we stand for the truth. Monsters down here. Monsters down here. Monsters down here. Sorry, I'm just taking it like, I'm giving it like three takes. You can use whichever one you want. Let's fucking go. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, 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 weird. Oh, hold on. Special controls. Um, always got to do this one. Die. Oh my God, I, sorry. I love the UI. <laughs> oh shit. Just noticed how much I like the UI. Wham, wham. Oh, 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 he's saucy, he's spicy. He's very, very nicey. <laughs> wow! You are not hurt, are you, Link? Look at these murals. <sighs> the written histories of the royal family. Did you draw this? Include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. 
Oh, <laughs> we know who that is. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? Troda. <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. Okay. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Yeah, the music in this game so far is so cool. The first royal family were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. Okay. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. Okay. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. Damn. It aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. If the creature depicted here really does represent the demon king, then... Then he's hot as fuck. Oh. She's carrying herself oh, so bad, I know. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Okay. Link. Oh, this Jesus. Is a huge discovery. Okay, she's not scared. She's excited. All right, Jesus. I was having a hard time reading what was going on there. <laughs> so like, what the fuck? Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's a Nintendo Switch it's OLED so device. To record. You point it and click. Oh. Like in the movie Click from Adam Sandler. <gasps> Looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. <laughs> Autism girly, hell yeah. Valid as fuck. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link. Let's Her special interests deeper. are dark caves and demons. She's loving this. <laughs> bomb time? No, we don't have bombs anymore. Weird. Perhaps we need more rupees. Stop. Hold on. Okay, go. Perhaps we need, yeah, perhaps we need to come back when we're a little... Mm, richer. Uh, I can't tell you how excited I am. The mules down here, their images support so much of what historians have written about. Oh, I find myself wondering, how did this area come to be so forgotten? Why was our history left hidden here? Did the royal family in those ancient times want this place and these murals to remain secret and out of sight? Hmm. I can't shake the feeling that I'm missing something here. Why would anyone want to keep this whole area a secret? It can't be because of what's shown in those murals. Hmm. I can only hope we'll find more answers farther below. A missing link, if you will. <laughs> you see a, yeah, a tiny grin <laughs> grow on his face? <laughs> Do you like that one? There's more where that came from. Sunny. <laughs> the grin fades. <laughs> I'll give that one a plus two. I know, right? Where are the goddamn standards? I wouldn't even give that one a plus two. I was, I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, huh, not my best work. This is so cool.
I wonder if you reverse this track if it would sound like hamster dance. But like scary hamster dance. You just get to fucking play the first, the first, uh, taser trailer. Oh my god. Uh, that green light in the distance. I'm having the strangest sensation. It's so, so ominous. Uh, that green light in the- okay, yeah, we're not gonna do this. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? What is this place? What is this place? Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. <laughs> so cool. What is that? <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom, here we come. Beef jerky, man. You. Huh. Huh? It looks like some kind of. Is that, is that an airport? Some kind of ultra hand. Huh. Oh! Huh. Scary, 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 scary. <laughs> Hell yeah. Not my princess. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. Bye, Zelda, goodbye. Oh no. The, th the thing that happened to Sonic happened to him. Uh oh. Was that the sword that seals oh. the darkness? He speaks. The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. What the fuck? Zelda. You who carries that fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in you. What the fuck? And that was all you could do. Oh, oh no. No more names. Wikipedia. We are already like here. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was a lot. That was a lot to do first thing waking up. And this is what happens. Oh no. No, no. <laughs> Goodbye, playable Zelda. <laughs> you cut your hair for nothing. What the fuck? Was that some kind of ultra hand? That was so cool. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe that is the first thing you get when you boot up the game. You don't even get the title screen. That's so cool.
Wow. Wow. So bright. So bright and green. Owie, owie, my eyes. 1,000 nits of pain. <gasps> Why does his hair look like that now? <gasps> what the fuck? Is, is that just because he lost his hair tie? Link, this like looks finally you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Hello? Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Okay. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Dude, the long blonde hair, the missing arm, he's Finn from Adventure Time. The busted up sword? No way. Oh my god. What the fuck? Shrine of Shrine of Resurrection, two, but scary. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Decaying Master Sword, the sword that seals the darkness. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. Oh my god. We are in it, folks. We are fucking in it. Oh my god. We can still equip it. It's got one attack. <laughs> this shit stinks. This thing smells. Wow. Cool, cool. Wait, hold on. I gotta try. Where's my pair of gliders? Hello? Hello? Mega Ponzi, thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh shit, wait, is that like the new... I guess that's like the new kind of Sheikah Slate interaction thing. So cool, so cool. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Hold on, I'm just like, I'm just taking it in. I don't know, I don't know if the, the adventure we are about to embark on has fully processed for me yet. Okay, cl can't climb that. Makes sense. Can we... Okay, I, it doesn't look like there's really any way to get up there just yet. Hold on. I'm gonna go in here and see. Oh, hold on. Wait. I'm... You know what? I feel like... Because in the first game, you could go back to the Shrine of Resurrection and, like, get a Korok seed. I'm wondering if this is maybe, like, a similar situation where, like, if you come back here, you can climb up this and maybe there's something cool over there. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna go on ahead. Alright. Oh yeah. Oh my god, it's literally this. 
No way. Same exact setup. Perfect form on that dive. Uh, how about another? <laughs> Woo! The water splash is like weirdly loud. <laughs> Okay. Hiya! Landing in water even from a great height will prevent you from taking fall damage. Cool. Oh, new chest! Oh, it looks so cool! That's awesome! Oh, archaic legwear. The fucking skirt, bro? The fucking skirt, bro? Um, based as fuck? Let's go. <laughs> men, why aren't you wearing this? Uh, men, you could be. You could be this. He looks so cool. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> Don't tell me, is this the title drop? Oh my god. way wow oh my god this is so pretty the music <laughs> Oh my god, it is not yet dawned on me just how long it's been waiting for this game. And here we fucking are. Accelerate. Wait. Oh, let's go! Where are we dropping? Wow, okay, well, and now here we are. Oh my god, the Sky Islands are so beautiful. We, we yet again start without a paraglider, of course. Can't, uh, can't have too much fun right out the gate. First, you must do the tutorial. Great Sky Island. Um, okay, maybe jumping the gun a little bit there. I'll be the one to judge if this is so great. Stick. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well-balanced. Doesn't do much damage, but it can serve as a weapon in a pinch. It is better than the, even the broken master sword. Can I be honest? I don't believe that. Looking at the two. This looks like... This looks like a knife. Like a shitty knife, but it still looks like it could be a knife. This is literally a twig. You can't convince me that practically this would be better, but that's okay. Uh, the numbers are simply the numbers. Wow. Oh my god, the lighting here. <laughs> Guys, look. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's just serene. I can't. This The visual quality. I cannot believe that this game is on the Nintendo Switch. Literally keep forgetting that I don't have the paraglider because I just got done playing uh playing some Breath of the Wild like literally a few minutes ago. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get used to like the noticeable resolution drop uh when the camera moves because it's literally such like it's it is a very visible difference between when the camera moves and when it stops. I don't know if, I don't know if you can actually notice it on screen, but uh I assure you it's there. Woo! <laughs> Here's one of these freaks. Hello. What are you doing? 
Try me. Try me. Try me. <laughs> he tried me, and it worked. I'll bust you up, man. Get over here. Die, die, die. Any attack because your weapon to break becomes a critical hit. That is right. That is about the same. Here's another... Let's... Hey, let's, uh... This sword's never gonna break. Uh-oh. Still running low on energy. Soldier con soldier construct horn. Blade like horn from a soldier construct. Very sharp. So handle with care. And a zone I charge. A material used as a power source, sorry. Uh for constructs and other Oh my god, I apologize. <laughs> and other devices. It's the coffee. Uh its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. Um, is the game looking good on stream, y'all, so far? You noticing any weird, like, visual artifacts or whatever? I want to make sure that this is a good experience. And if I need to change my capture setup, I absolutely will. Let me know if something about the visuals is unsatisfactory. Uh, ooh. Oh, cool. We went from branch to stick. Such a huge, huge upgrade. Looks good. No issues. Awesome. Just keep picking up Apple! Apple! That's right, <laughs> folks. Best game ever created. They got they got nutrition in this one. Okay, I'm excited. Let's go. Uh there's another freak? Another freak? What the fuck? I got, the fuck I got, I got I got another one of these? Dude. What did, what did this guy attached to my arm? I got a I got a spare. I got a spare right here. Look. Oh. Uh, Link, Good Samaritan Robin Hood to tosses tosses his coins as he walks along the street to passerby's. Here, simply simply take whatever I have. I don't need it. Somebody's already taken the shirt off my back, and yet I am still content. He's gonna clean me. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. No, no, no. I've made this suit my personality, okay? What the hell are you? Link. Oh, sorry, hold on. Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. This is the Pura Pad. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. It's mine. It's it's my Nintendo Switch OLED. It literally is a fucking Nintendo Switch. I mean, <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I mean, we knew it, but I was not expecting it to be that on the nose. Not even the Sheikah Slate was that on the nose. That is literally a switch. Um, that's so funny. Princess Zelda's prize switch OLED. Uh, wait, no, that's not an OLED. The screen would be bigger. It's just a, she, wait. She's a princess and she doesn't have an OLED? Um, okay. What are you saving your money for? War crimes? It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Open. Cool! Oh, awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yeah, so general, like... General latitude, longitude measurements look a bad. <laughs> Sorry, it's like a nerd-ass nerd. General latitude, longitude seems generally the same as, um... As the first game, I think. But of course, that is not taking into account verticality. Uh, which I'm very excited to see sort of how that expands. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. 
My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Hey, what's fucking going on? Whoa! New, new objective text. What is going on? Try again. I'm sorry. That it's uh, what? I'm so confused. Why is that the Temple of Time? <laughs> that is not. It's not. You can't convince me it is. Hold on. This is the Garden of Time. My records. Oh, okay. Hold on. Goodbye. What the fuck? I'm not, I'm not, I'm trying not to formulate any theories at the moment because we literally just started and I have next to no information. And throw the weapon. Okay. Hey, good tip. Um, I gotta like, hold on. I gotta like adjust my screen position or something because I feel like I'm, I have to like rotate my torso to see the entire screen. And it's not so much helping with immersion. Okay, here we go. That's a little better. Um. All right. Oh yeah, that's better. Uh, not perfect, but better. Y'all have not seen a single change. It's because I was physically moving my monitor. And sometimes things aren't for you, okay? Don't be greedy. It's just self-care. Could you move your monitor to the right a bit? We like it better that way. Oh yeah, sure. How's that? Penny, could you turn your monitor upside down? Really? Fine. Can you fuck with the blue levels? What blue levels? There's there's none. You know what? This is actually like I'm I'm now realizing this is very close visually to um a dungeon from Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. Uh well like there's one part of a dungeon, and I'm not gonna say what the setup of the dungeon is, but like you go through a bunch of different like segments that all look visually very distinct. And this looks like exactly like one of them. Just like, just like with the heavy, like gold color palette. Oh, who's this? Hello. Hello. Oh, you seem friendly. Hi, who are you? Soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs? Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser too. You 
must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. Dude, Twitch chat be like. <laughs> distance and target your opponents swinging haphazardly will not yield results aka get good fucker yes i got it you are just targeting on me if you want oh please not actually attack oh god should i do the funniest thing in the world that i'm sure nobody else is gonna think to do Lightly, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What did you expect? I don't know. I, I expected him. I expected for him to say, "Hey, oh no, oh hey, don't do that. Oh come on, don't do that. Come on, I just said not to do the thing, and you did it. Oh come on, silly, 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 silly funny. Don't do that." about what i expected maybe not in such exact terms but i'm noticing oh my god the initial oh my god the initial weapon limit if there even is one i guess we don't even know if there's like a weapon limit to begin with but like it's so much bigger this is definitely like super good this is one of the most annoying things about the original game for me not even like the weapons breaking it's like you just can't get very many at the beginning. What the hell was that? I'm gonna think about it. But we but we know that there is still Korok seeds in this game, so like I wonder if they're just used for something different or if or if the initial limit was just raised a bunch. I would assume it's the latter. Woo! I keep pressing the wrong R. Frog! Mine! Hot footed frog! A quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. Sorry, reading a uh, reading a log entry about a frog made me feel very whimsical. I want to sort of match that in my voice performance. Okay. Uh oh. Ah! You didn't even give me a chance. It's saw from a mile away. It has the best eyes I've ever seen. <laughs> die, idiot. Die. Uh, die. <laughs> Ow. Stop. Mine now. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Was that... I saw like a... I saw like a shimmer over there and I wonder if that was like a sharpening artifact or if that was something I can grab. So far that seems to be the new uh the new what's there on the horizon kind of loop in this game is uh is that sharpening or is that a is that a glint of, of wonder and mystery? Oh, it was sharpening. <laughs> Damn. Oh, it actually may have been this. It may have been one of these that I was seeing. I don't know. I was about to say I don't know where to go. That's not true. I literally know where to go. But I just don't know. I don't know where to go except where it's telling me to go. But I feel like there's so there's so much over here. The Great Sky Island. I wonder if like, huh? I wonder if if. I mean, because clearly this is a very similar setup to the Great Plateau, where it's like, oh, the misery, <laughs> you know? Uh, no, where it's like, oh, you can, you, you have to complete like four shrines on this Great Plateau, um, and then you can leave, right? And it's, it's like a long segment of the game too. I wonder if this is like, you can just leave whenever you want, but but while you're here, just know there is, like, a whole fucking tutorial area that you can, like, run around and 
find secrets and stuff in. I wonder. We'll see. I like I the, the chance that. Oh my god! It really is doing the great plateau thing because they have like the peppers and everything. Also, <laughs> dude, come on, do that again. But this time I won't get hit. Oh my god, the window. <laughs> so generous. pepper dude we're so back oh my god <laughs> we got the peppers literally best part of the first game everybody loved the peppers everybody was saying hey listen even if you don't like breath of the wild you gotta you gotta at least admit they the pepper game they got it down pat Let's see. Time to hold. Oh, cool. I like how, oh, I really like how they like show it at the, the UI is so cool. Oh, and you can take things out. Yes. That's fucking awesome. The quality of life improvements. Literally if nothing else. If this game is just like, oh, it's Breath of the Wild, and it's like about as fun as Breath of the Wild, but you just get like a bunch of extra quality of life shit, and like a new story, and like some new sites, like, game of the year. <laughs> like, well, like, come on. So cool. And, and it really is like, it can just be little things like that, that really just like add to the overall, like, user experience. It's, it's not like pushing up against your enjoyment of the game so much when you don't have to go through all these hoops just do what you want to do oh and look at that oh my god the new banner um spicy root mushroom is, grants low level cold resistance yeah okay we've seen this um i am also just going to like cook some <gasps> no fucking way what did i just see what did i just see I cannot fucking believe this. Also, sorry, I'm, I had that uh, cheer sound effect going on for way longer than I wanted it to uh, because I <laughs> spilled some coffee on my desk while it was playing. <laughs> so I had to like take the time to clean it up. Um, <laughs> I I don't think any got on my keyboard. I think we're good. I think it was just on my like wrist pad. And no, it wasn't a lot. It was literally, so you know, it, it was, it's, I did this thing where Whenever I'm drinking a coffee, I'm usually drinking it from like Starbucks or some other like fast food coffee place, right? And usually I, I have like this kind of, I, I guess it's like kind of like a weird like stim kind of thing that I do now, um, or at the very least just a habit where whenever I pick up my coffee cup, I kind of mix it around because I got used to like needing to like continuously kind of mix around the ingredients and whatnot so that it's all, you know, uh, coagulated. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. Um, but right now I'm drinking a leftover like coffee that I had in the fridge and I like poured it into like a fresh new cup and just like added some fresh ice to it. Um, and I just did the, but it's like an open top. Like it's just like a plastic cup. So I just picked it up and I started swirling it around based off of habit. And then I just saw like a big, like huge, like blob of coffee exit the cup and land on my desk and I was like oh shit I can't do that um anyway this is fucking fantastic no actually this is like I cannot believe they added a I cannot believe they added just like an actual recipe system that is so good that's so good that's all you need here we're gonna start with two of these and just cook these up Yummy, yummy, yummy.
Did you have to just like figure it out in the last game? Yeah, you had to like remember every single recipe, right? Yeah, you just had to remember. Oh, cool. Oh my God, and you use the, uh, you use the shoulder buttons to navigate the inventory now. That's really good. Um, very cool. I like that a lot better. I wonder, where's the, uh... Oh, the adventure log is... Yes! Thank you! The adventure log is on the map screen. <laughs> Fucking thank you. Feature not available yet. Oh, uh -huh. the album had pictures. Whoa, yeah, you're right. Oh, shit. Delete. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Sorry, I'm just like, it, like, I'm... I'm going crazy about all the quality of life things in this. It's so good. All right. Hoopla boo. <laughs> well. Oh, okay, I was going to say, does that give me less health than the normal sky shroom? No, I just needed, um... Wow, it's like cooking two is like way too much, but cooking one is not nearly enough. All right, we'll eat that. <sighs> Wait, hold on. Oh, oh, check recipe. I was gonna say, can you cook already cooked meals into a new meal? That would be insane. Um, How about we do one apple and we just make a, a fruit, fruit mushroom mix without the spice. That'll probably get us to the remaining hearts. Okay, not quite. Actually, no, that is literally exactly what we need. Ha! Ah, look at that. And now we know. This is now a cooking stream. Don't tempt me. I'll do it. And then and then I'll just switch over to Jedi Survivor and beat uh the Ogdo Bogdo family. <laughs> Korok? Damn it! Why do I even fucking bother? Nothing's ever right. Honestly, I would love cooking stream. What would you make though? A mess. <laughs> I can't I can't cook for shit. I'm still I I'm still getting over my like kitchen anxiety. So it's a little little bit more slow going than I than I wanted. But I'll get there. I'll get there. Yeah! Hi! Hello! Yeah <laughs> you found me! You're not Hestu! What? You see me? I didn't know someone like you could see children of the forest! Well, if you see yes, you please return these to him. Oh, man. You gather a bunch of them. You never know what may happen. I am so, so curious on what the, quote, reward is for getting all of them in this game. What if it's just the poop again? That would be so funny. But also, like... No, it would be really fucking funny if it was just... What if they gave you just two poops? I sincerely... I, I like, don't hope it's the poop again. I hope they kind of push against the expectation of it being worthless and actually do something cool. For Gerard's sake, if no one else. <laughs> but, like, also... um, Anyway. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. So you should keep an eye out while you wander. Wander over yonder? Hold on. I think I'm just discovering something. Oh man. Oh, the switch. Hold on. <laughs> I'll get you out of here, buddy. Oh god, I'm dying. I'm, I'm seven-year-old hardware nearly. I know, I know. It's okay. I can't render transparent trees! 
Yeah, no, the these games, I, I was noticing this literally earlier today in Breath of the Wild, like, they can't fucking do the transparency effects on screen. Like, uh, the, uh, um, what is it, the, the Zora's Domain? Divine Beast? The big elephant? If you, like, stand in, like, one of the streams of water, <laughs> your your frame rate is going down to like 12. It is not a pretty sight. Did you know that apparently this game uses fidelity effects super resolution? Literally like the the arch nemesis of my streams in recent months. And did you know that I can tell? <laughs> and did you know that I can fucking tell? I actually, actually like, oh, who are you? No, get back here, come on, I just wanna be your friend. Come on, no. So cool. I actually like fidelity effects a little bit more than I think my jokes give off the impression that I do, but also I can't wait for the Switch 2 to inevitably use DLSS. Um, because if they if, if they don't find a way to implement DLSS on that console, I don't know what they're doing. I like I, I honest you god that is like like I don't want to say dead in the water system because that would just be stupid. It's Nintendo, but also my heart would want to say dead in the water system. That is like that is how you solve the problem. Oh hey look at that, yeah confirmed. So, so this is the base, the base uh, weapon allowance. Cool. This is so much better. You're still gonna buy it? Oh, absolutely. Like I said, being realistic, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be like what that system lives or dies by. But if they want to keep up in like the 4K console space, which I feel like they should, um, then the way to do that while still managing like a like a decent power draw is to implement DLSS because you can run the games internally at resolutions that like a Steam Deck can handle. Um, but you can still upscale it with DLSS to make it look like sometimes even better than like native at least 1440, I would say. Even if they don't go full 4K, which would be totally understandable. Um... I just want to see higher than, uh, I just want to see higher than, higher than 1080. That's all I want. I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo didn't just drop the hybrid model. I, or the hybrid mode, I don't, I don't think that they would get rid of the hybrid concept for the next system. I think th the Switch was too much of a knock out of the park. And I think I, I think Nintendo is like known for like doing weird shit that can sometimes like really work out, but can also sometimes like doom them for years at a time. But this is one of those things where I think that if if they are honest to God thinking with their heads on straight, then they will keep the hybrid set up. Because at that point, then you also have to wonder like if they just do like a home console, like. They would also, because they're not going to leave the handheld market, they would have to make another handheld system and split their dev teams across the two systems again. And like, that's just a lot of infrastructural work to reestablish after you've merged them together like that. I just, I just don't think it's going to happen. I don't know. I don't, I don't see a future, at least not an immediate future, where the next system is not uh, a hybrid system. I don't know, I, I could be wrong. I could totally be wrong. Literally, this could be another one of those things where it's like, oh, this aged like milk, but like, that's that's my assumption off of just vibes, off of just literally no insider knowledge or whatever. That's just what I think. Um. Uh, <laughs> oh no, wait. Oh, they did this again. Um, I roasted that, uh, but it is yours if you want. You roast them? I had not noticed before that you were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. 
Among my tasks is to explain. Among my tasks. Among my tasks is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have any ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. Two of these apples are gonna get fucking roasted. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo! Oh man. This fucking apple doesn't know what just hit it. Oh my god. Holy shit. Fucking roasted. Hello. You are welcome to warm yourself by the fire. I encourage you to roast any ingredients that you have brought with you. I like these stewards. They're cute. I mean, I meant to kill it, just not so... <laughs> just not so... violently. <laughs> I meant to kill it, but not violently! Oh, man. You do not have permission to quote me on that. No siree. <laughs> I didn't know that my thing was... I didn't know that my weapon was almost busted. I didn't know it was gonna be a critical. I'm sorry. Chat, you have to believe me. This literally, this fucking island, this color palette looks better than literally any single thing in Breath of the Wild, and I'm not kidding about that. <laughs> I just I just need you to know how strongly I feel about this. Y'all know me. You know that I I love warm color tones and high contrast. That is literally this this sky island. <laughs> Oh, we're just going back here. Okay, 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 okay. Let's hold on. I need to remember. I need to start using these again. Cook. And then what is this shit? I think I meant to go up here and see what was up here, but I got distracted. I think by the animals. Oh no. Oh no, I can't. I need the ceiling! <laughs> what, what do they call it? I need the ceiling! What do they call it? The ceiling... Ceiling swim. I need... Roof run! I need the ceiling! <laughs> Give me the ceiling! I need uppies! I need uppies! Now! Ceiling hand. <laughs> I call it ultra roof. <laughs> Literally gonna call it uppies for the rest of the game. So uh, if you don't like that, then leave now. This is, this is amazing. This is so good. Guys, look, I'm running through the grass. This game fucks. I want to kill that bird. Hold on. Oh, man. Someday. You know what they say? Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Damn, 
Damn, that rock is heavy. That's not what that means? How could that not be what they mean? There was literally two birds and one stone sitting right there. I picked up the stone. Did you not see it? Do I need to pick it up again? Who hurt you today? I don't know. Um, Wendy <laughs> from Wendy's. I did. I did have Wendy's, and it really fucking it really fucked up my tummy. What are you doing? Die. Don't fuck with me anymore. <laughs> yes, finally! Motion controls! <laughs> we can kill the birds now, but they haven't simply gamer respawned, I don't think. So much to do, so much to see. Oh, come on. I'm literally, I'm so fucking happy that I'm playing New Breath of the Wild. I think there's a name for it. Hold on, I'll get back to you when I remember. 10 hour intro? That, like, this stream is going to just be the first island at this rate. No, that's not true. I'm here. I'm here, I'm queer, I'm filled with many fear. I'm rear, I'm dear, and everything severe. What's scary to you, that question? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Love, I love the weapon designs in this. They're so cool. <laughs> yes! Our first shield! And that's right, folks. Time to destroy it. First real sword. What the fuck did you say? I meant for, I meant for now. <laughs> hey, I think this game might fuck. I think this game might fuck. Can I be honest? The music is so good! I don't think they do that in Nintendo games. Um, what, uh, what did I just say about not talking about the leaks, okay? I still, I haven't played the game yet, so I don't think that this, I, I think that this game could fuck, okay? There's nothing to prove me wrong just yet. So in all caps just said, Xenoblade! <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. Sex, I meant sex. No, me too. <laughs> That's okay, I'm gonna stop this. The game can fuck, but you couldn't name the horse penis. In the first one! This game's better! I don't know. I haven't named a horse yet. I think one of the things I do know about this game is that 
I think like if you have a Breath of the Wild save file, your horses can carry over or something. Like you can keep your horses from the first game in this one. And the reason I know that is because I woke up today and like, I feel like the first full like sentence I heard was Joy like point, like showing her phone to me like a TikTok. Um, that was like a like a picture of the Breath of the Wild horse or whatever. She's like, babe, you get to keep your horses. And, and like in my tired like stupor, I was like, what? Oh, what? <laughs> she was just like, it was like you, she was just showing me a TikTok. And I, to be honest, I was not processing it at all. At first, I was like, yeah, you could keep your horses in the first game too. <laughs> Until I eventually realized, like, oh no, I think she meant like. Like, from the first game. <laughs> what are you Whoa! That door will open only to those with sufficient power. Hello? I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was Is that I the that ghost of Tsushima? That arm originally belonged to me. <gasps> Whoa! Raru. Raru, I love you! Source of the right arm? That's Forgive so cool! For appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. <gasps> I love him, I love him, I love him, I love him, I love him. He's so cool. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. A light Why not visit storm. the shrines on this island? Oh God. <laughs> uh oh. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Damn, I could have just come up here and, like, been able to do this the whole time. I waited so long to actually activate the thing I'm supposed to be doing on this island. And I'm gonna be honest, I was like, it was like a 50-50 chance as to whether I was gonna wait longer. Oh, cool! Oh, it shows you on the map! That's amazing! He tried to open the door to the Temple of Time. Raru appeared and said he was the original order of your new arm. Then you need to revitalize the arm so that the power of its touch will open the door. Visit the island shrines. Okay, so we don't know if these are gonna be like shrine shrines. But the word shrine is very specific. I wonder. I'm surprised I didn't lose a heart there. Or at least like a sliver of one. All right, we'll see. I see that glint in the distance. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's, it's interesting how... Yo, wait, I'm noticing like... There's no, there's no arrow selection. Interesting. Oh, wait, I think I know why. Right, because I don't know if they're gonna, since you can fuse things to arrows and create arrows with special effects, I don't know if they would even need to have, like, fire arrows and ice arrows. Yeah! Oh, that makes sense! That's really cool! I'm very excited about that. I like that system, honestly. I kinda... I, I wasn't a huge fan of having to constantly keep a bunch of arrows in the original. Yeah, it would be kinda redundant. I, yeah, I didn't even think about that until just now. Oh, 
I'm seeing the vision. I know. I'm literally like, oh, man. We haven't even gotten into it yet is the thing about it. We haven't even gotten into it. Whoa. Ow, my eyes. <laughs> my, my monitor is so bright right now. I have local dimming turned to high, which activates the full peak brightness of my HDR monitor. Um, and out. <laughs> oh my god, oh no. <laughs> oh no! Okay, we'll, we'll give it a chance. We'll give it a chance. Maybe just the novelty of it. If, the, for those of you who weren't here for the early part of the stream, the reason why I'm joking around like, oh god, oh no, this looks so fucking cool! <laughs> Why is this like something? No way. No way. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. I needed that. One sec. I just really like all the little like quality of life things that they're doing in this game. Literally, it's like this, like they, it's just the way they've like refined even the existing gameplay loops, much less like the new things they're going to add on top of it. Also, this is such a cool effect! Okay. Oh, okay, it still loads. Okay, maybe I got a little too excited right off the bat, but okay, still. That's still just a cool effect. Oh, man. That loaded a lot faster, too, I think. I don't even mind. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna... So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. <laughs> now then, extend your hand. <laughs> he just puts out his left hand. No, do you not understand? What? Ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. So it's like some kind of ultra mm. hand? This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really anything you can imagine. Mm. Use ultra hand. Receive the blessing from this shrine. So it's some kind of <laughs> okay. Last one, just for last one for the road. I need this. I need this. So it's some kind of ultra hand. You hold it down and select a thing. Guys, they made a fucking video game. Guys, they made a video game. This is so cool. Because Breath of the Wild was like. It was great, like, for just from, like, a core design and world design aspect. You could tell, like, it was amazing, but it was still, like, Nintendo's, like, first, like, real open world game. And what's, what's getting me is just the refinement of even the most basic of mechanics here. It's truly, like, it's, 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 I'm playing, like, I don't, I don't have to fucking wonder if there was a better way to do it, because it's just, like, oh, cool, this is, like, the industry standard method of control because it works. <laughs> oh my god. So you still just have this, but it's like there's so much more you can do with it now. And you can rotate. Oh man. Oh my god. This is awesome. Okay. 
cool. Let's, um, yeah, let's put this right here instead. This is so good. Did you do that? Oh my god, I just gave him the Noki voice. Okay, so you... Wait, so you wrote. Oh my god, okay, hold on, I gotta get used to the controls here. So you rotate, whoop. Down, oh my god, this is so cool, okay. Uh, you go right here. And then I'm literally, I'm literally gonna shut and piss. Okay. Uh, this. So cool. This is so cool. Bam. Bam. LVP glue tool, that shit, I know. There are any sea stuff. <laughs> any secrets down here? Nope. Okay, just making sure. Oh, oh, hold on. Time to eat glue. Um, what do you mean? I eat glue all the time. What I don't like to make a habit of doing is eating ultra hand glue. Oh, you can still just kick them. Amber looks very different. I like it. Wait, 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 wait. Hiya! Woo! Need this on. <laughs> oh, cool! Oh, they look so cool. Okay, listen. If shrines are gonna be like a a regular thing again, I'm glad they look this fucking cool. At the very least, a new aesthetic might be enough to just like make it a little less uh, a little less, I guess, exhausted. <laughs> Oh, cool! Oh my god! Whoa! They're just like, hey, there's all this shit here. Uh, figure it out. <gasps> what the hell? Oh, is this supposed to, like... Oh, that's cool. This may be supposed to, like, kind of either give you an idea of what you can do, or maybe if you can, like... I wonder if you could, like, grab it from here. Oh, it's just a... Oh, it's, like, above... No, it's, like, just out of reach. So it's a... So that's just giving you an idea, like, hey, this is kind of what you should be going for. Um... Here's the problem, is that I choose to be a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's go, let's go! Oh, it actually does work. I cool! I, hey guys, guess what? I did the thing, but not in the way they wanted me to. <laughs> Twirls my non-existent mustache. Really setting up, yeah, really outsmarted the devs there. Listen, I'm just setting a precedent, okay? Ooh! Mom? Dad? You have done well to reach this place. 
We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Oh god, no! <laughs> Link is just like, fuck, peak, peak brightness. <gasps> Whoa! Cool. Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with the light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Okay. Okay. So we we got the we got the shrines again. Honestly. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. I don't mind it. I think seeing how kind of just like cool they look now. Um, and just realizing that it's gonna be like at the very least a fresh aesthetic and also fresh new way of doing the puzzles with like the new ultra hand mechanics, like I'm down for it. Oh. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you restored an ability. This is wonderful. You visit and complete two more shrines. You should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Mm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, and you'll never lose track of where they are. The Purapad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Cool. Let's yeah, let's see how the scope looks. Oh, okay. Yeah, very very similar. Uh cool. Nice. Oh my god. All right. Uh <laughs> Oh, I see. Hold on. Can we like zoom in and out? No, is that still not a thing? All right. Yep. All right. So the the pin system is back. Very cool. Very useful. Uh, as expected, wasn't really, <laughs> wasn't really expecting that one to leave. Oh my god, all the way up there. Dude, this is literally... <gasps> Hold on. Yeah, so this is this is the Great Plateau too. Um Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Okay. I can't I can't seem to find the last one, so we should probably just like focus on getting a better vantage point. Um and we can do that, I think, actually, by going to... Let's let's try this next one over here. Oh, oh, hold on. Wait, okay, so, like, what, what cool new stuff can I do? Oh, I can just climb down. Wait. I gotta, I gotta start thinking about, like, ways to really... die. <laughs> Wait, did he say two more shrines? Is it just the two? Maybe maybe I was thinking more of um Great Plateau. I'm just like, oh there's probably Oh he said two? Okay, cool. Said two more. Got it. Uh I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's um Sky Shroom. I think he said you needed three to open the door. I okay, one thing you gotta know about me is that I can get the gist of things, but remembering specific numbers. No way. Impossible. Grab that zone I charge. <laughs> this is so cool. So I wonder... Oh man, hold on. Oh, actually, I don't think... Oh, no, so the, the, the weapon fusing is a different ability. Sophie, hi! Oh, we're feeling so good. We're feeling so good. 
It's amazing. All right. Uh... Oh, this is the temple. Where am I going? This way. Right. Got it. Damn. That's that's gonna be. Oh God, that's a bit of a it's a bit of a journey. Hmm. Well, it's gonna be a bit of a journey either way. Let's just get going. No use belly aching about it. I don't know why I saw him. Yeah, no, I'm a, I am adoring this so far. I mean, I, I am a, I'm a sucker for Breath of the Wild. I think, I think in, I think over time, obviously, I've, I've come to terms with like certain aspects of it that I find, you know, less than. I don't think it's a perfect game, but I don't think a perfect game exists, right? Like there are still a bunch of things that I, I think could have been done better. Even though I do, I, I am generally among the uh, like, oh, it's like a 10 out of 10 games. It's like a 10 out of 10 game kind of crowd, right? Like I, I adore it. Um, and it was really, really special to me on release. And so far, this is very much impressing me um, in just the way that it takes that formula that I was so in love with. And it's just bolstering it with all kinds of like crazy quality of life upgrades, which has honestly been the most impressive thing for me so far. Like, obviously everything else about the game from like an aesthetic and a and a story introduction standpoint, it's like really cool in its own right. But the thing that's been impressing me the most is just like, wow, this is like, they really just refined the systems here and the user experience. Like not even just the, it's not just more Breath of the Wild, it's Breath of the Wild, but refined and polished and and i'm like so so down for that oh here we go unbearable cold well then let's put on our bear shoes hey we need to find a shirt <laughs> I, I think it's like i think it's really important that we find a shirt sometime soon All right, idiots, die! I'll fuse you to hell. <laughs> One. I'll fuse this tree to you. Get ultra hand an idiot. Yeah, hey, listen, if this hand was so ultra, um, why can't it just kill them immediately? For me, so I don't have to do anything? It's like this hand isn't so ultra after all. <gasps> Please be a shirt. <laughs> Damn it, it's arrows! More weapons. Uh-oh. I'm not doing the thing that I do in Breath of the Wild where... I used my weapons on a, like, on a scale of, like, weapons that have less damage output have more priority because they break faster. Um, and I save my higher damage weapons for later. I'm simply having too much fun to be optimizing the game in these ways. Birds I can kill! Damn it. It's okay. Calm down. Not that serious. You still have the drumstick. Hey, what? <laughs> Hold on. Can I climb up this? It's just like... It's not ice. No, it's just cold rock. Icy vertical surfaces are slick and hard to climb. Other vertical surfaces become slick when wet. God damn it. I mean, yeah, they were going to keep that. It is ice, yeah. Whoa, Implosion Core, thank you for the $50 tip. Jesus. Hello. Hi. 
Why? Confirming raft and Zodai device operational status. Ah, uh, pardon my rudeness. Do you require a raft? The ones by the riverbank are ready for use. The Zonai device has also been inspected. Zonai device? Yes, this green thing is called a Zonai device. The one I am inspecting is known as a fan. It activates when struck to generate wind on demand. This river is meltwater. Falling into it will quickly sap your stamina. It is for this reason that I maintain rafts to cross to the other bank. I should mention that energy is essential for using a Zonai device. You will need an energy cell if you want to use one. This is a problem. You do not seem to have an energy cell. <laughs> Lame. You can't use my boats. It will be impossible for you to use a Zonai device without an energy cell. Zonai devices are essential on this island. I will give you a spare energy cell. Peasant. Cool! Designed to be worn at a belt, it can power Zonai devices. Energy cell stored the energy required to use a Zonai device. This energy will replenish automatically when the Zonai device is not in use. Be mindful of your energy reserves. It would be unfortunate to run out of bid use. The rafts by the riverside have been thoroughly inspected. They are ready for your use in crossing the waters. Cool. Okay. <laughs> it's unbearably cold. I cannot believe that just happened. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. You didn't see that. And thus ends the Legend of Zelda. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry! Uh -uh. These rafts are in for maintenance. The rafts by the riverbed are available for those who need of wood. Hey, bitch. I repeat that these rafts are undergoing maintenance. Using an unserviced and uninspected raft is not recommended. The rafts by the riverside are tested and perfectly serviceable. Dumbass. Are you seeing? What? These rafts are. Okay. It's, it's repeating dialogue. Pick it up, Link! Pick it up! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! me oh I'm running out of cold resistance I gotta go Whoa! it's like I'm going and going and going going and going and going going and going and going going and stop A lot of place to cook around here. Whoa. Yeah. 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 Woohoo. Okay. Three birds, one stone. You didn't die. Oh, 
shit! Ah! He ate a pepper. He can't be cold. That's all I'm trying to be. Here, let's do it again. Yes! Oh my god. I cannot fucking believe you just... You just do it! You just do it! Oh. Okay. Let's hit it. predict what no I can't I was gonna say I, was, I wonder if I can predict what ability I'm gonna get from this next shrine from reading the name but I was like oh hold on I can't see the name until I've activated it what the oh <laughs> you thought I wouldn't notice this who do you think I am baby mode not today That's right, it goes in the square hole. <laughs> cool. Alright, we gotta go. We gotta go! I wanna get off this island. I wanna get into the, the game proper tonight before like three in the morning. This might be a long stream, maybe. I feel like I could play this forever already. I got three in one. Or I guess two in one. But then I also got another one in one, which totaled to three. What time is it on your end? It is currently 1.43 AM. And I canceled my one appointment I had tomorrow and moved it to next week. So I, I got nothing going on. Because I was like, there is no way I'm about to play this game. Well, because I was like, I... Because I was like, oh, maybe I'll just do what I normally do and do a midnight release stream and then stream for like an hour and then do a longer one the next day. Um, like I did with RE4 and Jedi Survivor. Um, but then I like really freshly fucked up my sleep schedule this week and I've been staying up until like 4 a.m. again. So I was like, you know what? Why don't I just take the pressure off uh, and just make sure I don't have anything to do tomorrow? Because I was like, there's no way I'm going to play this game tonight until, like, 3 in the morning at, at the earliest time of stopping. And then get up tomorrow at, like, 10 a.m., 11 a.m. at the latest to make sure I'm ready for the thing I need to do. <laughs> because that was what was going to have to happen if I didn't postpone. Thankfully, thankfully, it's nothing super important. It's something I can postpone a week. It's just a, it's just a microblading appointment. Not even a microblading appointment. It's a micro, it's a microblading consultation. Die. Is that where they like shape your eyebrows? Um. It's it's more like they they kind of like it's it's like permanent makeup essentially. It's like they kind of they kind of fill out your eyebrows um, rather than shaping what's already there. But yeah, it is like a it's like an eyebrow thing. Good. 
I just, I, I just always like, I, I always do my eyebrows because I don't like my natural eyebrows very much, and you know, I, I, I fill out my eyebrows with makeup every time I go outside, essentially, and I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm sick of, I'm sick of having to do it all the time. So I'm like, I'll just, I like, I'll just get some, I'll just get some something with more permanence to it. And it's not actually like permanent, permanent. Like, like, I'll need touch-ups every so often. But um, I was like, I just, I just want to be able to not even have to think about it. Hey, what? Okay, so clearly not this way. Wait, hold on. Oh my god. Uh, do I, do I like, need the other thing for this? I'm starting to think I might just, like, need uppies to do this next one. And I just kind of went the wrong way. Hold on. Let's see. So I can't climb the ice. It's like another climbing spot. Don't tell me! Don't tell me! <laughs> I'm, I'm figuring it out! Shush! <laughs> it's, it's okay, Sophie. Here, I, I, okay, now I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one more quick. Is that, wait, am I just, no, cause that's like, that's like ice stuff. That's ice stuff. Oh, thank God they, they put this here. Oh, they really, they really did take out the, uh... Yeah, oh, they really did just, like, fully take out the spring glitch. I can't believe I just tried to do spring glitch. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, there's, like, a, oh, there's, like, the smallest little crevice right there. I didn't see that. Okay. Now we know. Here. Let me, um... Toss this in there! I love his little... Little cooking hums. Oh my god, so I, I literally was in like the exact right spot. Wait a second. Oh, I can just go around. I think. That looks connected. Uh... Wait, what button is recipes? Sophie, you're telling me this entire time? It's ju it's just in the menu. <laughs> that's like that's like one of the, the biggest quality of life features I'm most excited about right now. <laughs> just missing the thing to unlock it. Oh no. Come on, Link, you can do it. That was already in Breath of the Wild, but people never figured it out. It's just now it has a nice menu. Is that true? I, I could have I could have sworn there was not like a recipe system in the first game. I don't know if I believe you just yet. Cause cause that was like a big thing for me. I swear there was. I barely played, and I remember one. I don't know. I, I, you, you, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I'm almost positive that was not a thing. You could click on check recipe on the plate. 
Yeah, but you couldn't like... No, guys. Okay, so like... Yeah, you could like... Okay, I see. I didn't use this very often. I guess you could technically like pull up a thing but the the quality of life feature that i'm personally very excited about is if you go to one of the ingredients then you click select for a recipe and then it can just automatically hold all of the ingredients for you as long as they're in your inventory which i am pretty positive was not in the original that's that's what's exciting to me is that you don't have to like you don't have to go through the because you don't have to either already have it in your inventory or, like, pull up the menu to, like, try and, like, scroll through everything and remember what you want. Like, you can literally, you can just, you can, you can go to any ingredient and see what recipes include that specific ingredient, if you have any. And then you can just pick one. Like, like that, that part is new. Although, to be fair, I did completely forget about the other recipe menu. It feels like the devs played Breath of the Wild. Oh shit, you think so? I guess this does take a lot of inspiration from it. Yeah, you can kind of see... Man, Breath of the Wild really did have like an irreversible impact on the games industry. So many new games are taking after it. Flint! I don't see it. I think gamers just think everything's Breath of the Wild these days. Oh, you think it's like a Genshin Impact situation? First game to have grass! No, I think that was Pokemon Scarlet. Gutenbach. I, st I, I adore... Oh my god. I was so excited when I thought that the doors to these shrines were, like, seamless. But even still, it, it feels like they kind of wanted to make them seamless. Right? Like, it looks like they wanted it to be seamless. Oh, you know what? Actually, that did kind of look like a, like a two-dimensional image in there. Either way, uh, yeah, the effect is still amazing. And also, again, it just seems like it loads a little quicker. Maybe that's just placebo. I cannot wait until we get, like, I know maybe too soon to say this. Can't wait until we see the next Zelda on whatever the next system is. I know I just started the new one. <laughs> this thing is old. <laughs> anyway. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. And you I know will find the hero of our time. An evil king has come to reign. All that you know, you'll be leaving it behind. Whoa! Uppies! Uppies! Move upward through solid material and emerge on top of it. Mm. This is the Uppies ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Use uppies and receive the blessing from this shrine. All that you know you'll be leaving it behind. I'm still, I'm still losing my mind that they actually implemented like a selection wheel. It's like so obvious. In retrospect. But they just didn't do it that way. Amiibo always at the ready. I, for I didn't even... I forgot. They still got Amiibo going. I gotta get mine out. Oh, let you know you'll be leaving it behind. Uppies! Woohoo! Hey, wait, can you go back? You can! Oh my god, that's awesome! It's just like, here we go. Never mind. Uh -huh. 
the amiibo sold out in like two days somehow. I mean, you know, if nothing else, amiibos are just little, little figurines of your favorite video game characters. I don't know. They're not especially high quality, but people, people be loving fi figurines. Shit. <laughs> Hold on. Whoa. It's kind of interesting how the world, like, freezes in place when you do that. It's my tree branch. Oh, no. My tree branch. Oh god. Oh damn it. Fuck. Oh, but you know you'll be leaving it behind. Hold on. Just for me. Just for me, Mr. J Mr. J. <laughs> Mwah. Ooh! A bow used by it. Oh, I thought. Wait, hold on. Uh, I thought it said a bow used by Captain Construct. Like it was like a, like a superhero name. Uh, a bow used by a captain construct. Though simply built, it is made of fireproof materials and won't catch fire as wooden bows do. Cool. And he did a kiss sound. No! No, did I? Oh god, guys, I'm going insane. That's me going insane. Huh. I'm not doing things your way, Nintendo. I... Can I... I... The fuck? Fuck. Whoa, that's... That's a really shitty way to unstick it, but also, I guess... What can you do? I'm not doing things your way, Nintendo! You. Oh, I see. Hello? Oh. Oh! So there is like a, like a height limit. I see. Oh. Why does it appear on the wall like a, like a VR barrier? <laughs> I got like I feel like I'm about to run into my coffee table. Go that way. Thank you. <laughs> You're trying to make VR but accidentally made this. Is that why it took so long? <laughs> like halfway through they were like, "Ah, shit." Do you think that's also what happened with the Metroid Prime 4 development? But, you know, Metroid Prime 4 is, like, less integral to their brand, so they were at least just, like, more empowered to say it. Like, halfway through, they were like, wait, fuck, this studio is making VR. <laughs> Retro Studios, no, get in there. No, that's how we got Labo. I like... I, I briefly turned on the... I don't have like a VR Labo headset, but I briefly like turned on the VR mode in Breath of the Wild the other week. Um, 
and I did the thing because you do you know that if if you if you're looking at like a side by side 3D image like the Labo mode does in Breath of the Wild, if you just like cross your eyes to where the two pictures like match up, you can just sort of create your own 3D effect. Um, but it like <laughs> but it like hurts physically and you can't do it for very long, or at least I can't. <laughs> But it's like cool for a sec. Um, so I like did that for a second and I was like, this is what it would be like if I purchased Nintendo Labo VR. And then I was like, cool, I, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> right after that. I was like, wow, I didn't I wouldn't need this. He's so cold. His body is so bruised by the cold. Oh! Please be a shirt. No, that's not a shirt. That's another cooking pot! Fuck! Well, that's just the same building I've been to already. Up here, give me a shirt. This kid needs a shirt! Oh, <gasps> please. How about more pants instead? No! Ah, fine. They really fucking canceled my skirt look. I wanted a top. Okay. Whoa. Hello, Raru. Hmm. The Zonai devices were the pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many, many years. Oh. You can master the use of the Zonai devices. Your quest will be much easier. Boo. Mm. I want to let you know you'll be leaving it behind. It is nice to not have to constantly eat peppers, though. What if Link was allergic to peppers? Would that be fucked up or what? Let's go. What is this? Gotcha? Oh my god. Kenjin Impact. What the fuck? Hello? My duties today are complete. Uh, this is a rarity. It is unusual for me. This is a Pinkie Pie. This is a Rainbow Dash. It is unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you will require Sonai devices to ascend the mountain. Would you like to use the device dispenser? Device dispenser? Yes. I am manufacturing Sonai devices using this device dispenser. Do you see the bowl-like receptacle? Resources held in your hands can be deposited there. It accepts resources such as construct horns, Sonai charges, or processing. The altitude here is incredibly high. It is no easy task to descend the mountain. That is why I am preparing wing-type Zonai devices. They are useful tools for making your descent. Zonai capsules are very convenient. They are a portable form of Zonai device that you can retrieve at any time. I suggest that you deposit resources in the device dispenser before proceeding. Man, 
She's re this is reminding me of... Oh my god. <laughs> I literally... Like, in one of my Sunday Sketchbook art streams... I was going over an idea that a dream gave me. About, like, a fantasy kind of story setup that involved, like, one of the characters is, like, carrying around, like, little, like, gotcha, like, little plastic gotcha pods. Um, and, like, using them to, like, summon, like, special attacks and stuff. It just kind of reminded me of that. You premonition this? I know, and I wish I did it. Wait, so... Like this? Whoa! Whoa! This is cool! Wing! The harness lift to ride the wind to fly farther, try balancing it in the center of the wing. Okay, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Take out device. You can't take that out here. Too big. What? I'm so confused as how this works. That's okay. I will figure it out. What is this? <laughs> Woo! All right. That was a close one. Oh, that you know you'll be leaving it behind. Oh. It's just the same thing that I... That's right there! <laughs> Can I put it away? <laughs> I can't put it away. Hey, what's this? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Cool! Awesome! Gimme! Another charge! Well, I'm gonna press charges. My condolences to the family. I'm <laughs> so mad. Tree is badly damaged, ma'am. I know. Okay. Tell me how. The heart, Osborne. No, I'm fine. Okay, so maybe. Hold on. Is it maybe like a... Do I have to like put it in the air? Nope. <laughs> maybe I have to just keep putting stuff in here until I like get the right... Get the right piece? Or something? Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay. Oh, I... Okay, I understand. All right. I get it. Sorry if that was maybe explained a little more obviously and I just didn't, like, pick up on it. I get it now. They're just giving me pieces that I can build with. 
and it is my job to build something that I can fly with. Flame emitter, okay. Okay, I got more wings. I would love some kind of like some kind of steering wheel. Um but I'm not too picky. I honestly kind of just need to get down from here. Oh, and that's why this thing was already there in case I just like didn't get a wing. Uh, which seems impossible at this point. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna I need to make it to this other shrine, because I'm I'm going nuts. <laughs> like I wanna I wanna get into the like the game proper. I wanna get to Hyrule. This is really cool and all. I'm so excited to see the rest of this game. <laughs> I'm rushing it, I'm rushing it. Penny, no, don't rush it. You have to save your experiences. Shut up! I'm rushing it. Just kidding, I'm not rushing it. I'm just I just wanna get down. <laughs> Okay, so now this is so cool. Okay, anyway, I said shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection from monsters. Well, now it's gonna be used as a butt. Super turbo wing. No! 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 <laughs> oh man. Oh fuck. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, it's right there. Okay, good. <laughs> yet, yet again, sounding like fucking. Wow! Wow! Huh! Huh! No! From a Wii Shop Wednesday. All right. Let's see. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put a few more items in here. Let's let's throw like a combo in there. Oh, I'm a matter. Portable pot. All for cooking food almost anytime, anywhere. Last for cooking one recipe only. The device is easier to use on flat surfaces, but not impossible to use on non-flat surfaces. Also, I got nothing, but I'm going to make it work. Um. Oh, it's time to play. It's time to fucking play. It's time to play. It's time to, like, it's time to fucking play. It's time to meet the play on the play. You can grill on the bird. Grill on the bird. Grill on the ground. Take it back now, y'all. One bird this time. Two birds. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, one more load bearing fan. <laughs> Wait. Oh, this is not going to work. <laughs> it's gonna fucking flip around. Get off of there. No! No! I'm, cr 
creating a fucking Frankenstein version of my original vision. God, I just created the fucking Tears of the Kingdom equivalent of a Tesla. <laughs> it did hit a child, yeah. <laughs> this will probably be fine. Let's eat my mushroom skewer. This'll work. This'll work. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> this shit's impossible, man. Problem made the game bad. Get out of here. I don't want to see you anymore. That flame emitter was getting rid of so much battery. Maybe that was my problem. It wasn't it wasn't a problem with design. It was a problem with power draw. Much like the switch itself. There, that one was cooking in there for a while. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, rate me five stars on the Uber app. Hold on. Fuck. No, not that way. This way. Get on there. Here we go. Here we go. That'll do it. This will take me so far to reaches beyond the heights. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. What do I do? Oh, thank God. Uh, ah! No, 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 no! Oh, dear God! I didn't see me! <laughs> well, that one, that one was better. That one was better. You ha we got off of the island. It was, it was better. <laughs> it's like the Wright Brothers in real time. I'm just I was about to delete the game. Canceled series. Canceled run. Canceled penny. <laughs> Do I still have all my stuff? No. Okay, good. We can start over. <laughs> so did you just, I also I did yes, I did pray to Hylia. I'm trying to get in the uh trying to get into the spirit. <clears throat> Fan. Wing fan. Another portable pot. 
And a flame emitter. Okay. So we're basically from scratch here. Let's use more. Let's use just like a whole slew of uh, charges here. Whoa! Please give me some kind of like. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm not even going to finish that sentence because why, why would they? Why would they? Uh, we have a fan. <laughs> you, you only get pots, bitch! <laughs> Best start calling you Pepper, because you only get pots. Okay, this is, like, so fun, though. Like... Yeah, like, they, like they... They were onto something here. They were, they were cooking with this one. Just the, just the, the experience of having, like, oh my god, like, it's the, the, the Legend of Zelda nuts and bolts of it all, you know? Like, it's so good. I cannot wait for this to be, like, the rest of the game. Yeah, speedruns are gonna be on another level. I'm so excited. I was watching, uh, cause like Small Ant put out a video recently that was like, oh, you know, I, I speedrun, like 100% speedrun uh, Breath of the Wild in less than 24 hours. And I was like, oh, this should be fun to watch. I did not realize how much the speedrun for that game has progressed. I didn't, I didn't know about the fucking bomb move where you just like, you wiggle a, a bomb and you like fly across the entire map. Uh, so I cannot wait to see how people just like bust this game wide open. No, not even Boomy Zoomy, because Boomy Zoomy is when you use the bomb and you like explode it and you fly. I'm talking like, I'm talking like you literally hold on to a bomb and you just like wiggle in the air. And like you literally fly. Is it just called Wiggle Bomb? Okay. Let's try it. That's too much. That's too much power usage. Oh no. Also a really, really bad start. <laughs> I'm so mad! How, how do you do this? Maybe the bottom fans are not needed. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, yeah, may maybe that's maybe that's my problem. Maybe I'm just like overcompensating for something that the wing can actually like do. Here. Only if I second harness lift to ride the wing. To fly farther, try balancing in the center of the wing. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. Um, also, hey, thanks so much. Uh, God, we, we literally just got a, two raiders at the exact same time. Um, yeah, I think, I think the issue is the fans, after all. Um... Is that rhetorical asking? Any literally like literally I 
If I do not say chat, tell me this answer, it is rhetorical. If I do not say the magic words of chat, please tell me this, or chat, go ahead and tell me this, I am thinking out loud and asking rhetorically. What if I just do this one? <laughs> Wow, look, nothing. Man, I don't think that's gonna work either. Do I really just not need like any... Well, no, because then the thing fucking falls immediately. I'm so confused. Yo, hold on. God. <laughs> okay. I'm like, what if, what if, what if we just do it from the top, and the wings themselves can kind of compensate for what's happening in the back there? I this this snow is like really becoming a problem. What is this? Oh my God! It's another one. <laughs> Please. Help me! Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. It just needs a stable launch! If we can get the launch stable, then the aerodynamics will take us the rest of the way! Bye, George! Out of the way, icicle. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, the thing really does just like kind of. Whoa! Wait! 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 We steer it this way. No way, no way, no way! No way! Oh my god! No kidding! That is so cool! No wait, no, wrong one. Stop that! That is amazing! I cannot believe that! Uh oh, uh oh! Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Okay, okay, up here? No, 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 that ruins everything. <laughs> Fuck. Go up, go up, go up. Oh my god, wait. Wait, we 
use the we use the thrust when we need to achieve altitude. Ah! No, 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 help me. Uh oh. Okay, okay, we got it though. Okay, I think yeah, no, I understand. All right. Oh man, that is so cool. That is so fucking cool. <laughs> I cannot believe it just works like that. Oh my god. That's amazing. Okay. So now... Yeah, no, we got it. All right. We don't have any more fans. But you know, we do have. <laughs> I wonder how much this would work. Oh, <gasps> yo. Wait, 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 wait. Stand on your bottom. No, dumbass. On your bottom. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no, wait, I'm not gonna punish it. I'm just... <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. that was, I pressed the wrong button. Here. I, I gotta set it up like I'm, like it's at a workshop. Here, uh, Ra Raru, do you mind? Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> Just slip it over. Just slip it over. What are you doing, Penny? Just flip it the fuck over. Here. I have concepts and ideas. I'm creating creations. Over here. Hey, what are we doing here? Hey, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I want. You know what I want. <laughs> oh shit. Wait, but I think this actually ruins the the lift off. I didn't think about that. Does it? It might. Hold on. Oh yeah, I, yeah, that ruins that ruins my launch pad. Hmm. It's kind of doing something here. <laughs> it's bouncing, yeah. What if I just uh? What if I kind of do it in the front and back here instead? Oh my god, this is so fun. Like, like I cannot, I, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe that this is the sequel to The Breath of the Wild now in development. Okay, yeah, let's, let's see if fire works. Hey, let's see if fire works. Oh no, it still fucks it up. Go! Go! Ah! Hey, I made a torch. In The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, your creations are the limits of your imagination, and your imagination is the limit of your heart. Heart. Okay. So the dragons are not gonna work. It's working as a break. Yeah, I don't. I don't think breaking was our problem. Get off of there! Get out of here! Get over there! Get get the you stay there! You get the fuck out of here! I need a fan. I'm back! Danger! <laughs> oh, I know. There is always gonna be danger when I'm around. I cannot believe it has taken me this long to get off this fucking island! This is literally... This is the biggest skill check moment 
in either of these games by far. <laughs> hey, do you understand physics? You better. Okay. We could have walked, but this is more fun. I, li I don't, I literally don't think we can. Oh no, wait, we totally could. That's fine, this is more fun. That's an original thought that I just had. That we, that we can walk, but this is more fun. Do you guys like it? I came up with it myself. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Not yet. Oh, shit, wait. These are good breaks for when it's at the mechanic. Don't move. Yeah! Okay. Hmm. I, I think the setup we had last time was fine. I just need to, like gain proficiency in actually using them. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. This way. Thank you. Okay. No. All is normal, all is well. And now let's enter my little hell. Okay, yeah, so far so good. We just need to we just need to steer lightly. Don't need to get too crazy. Don't need to get too crazy. We got this. Just light turns and then recenter. Light turns, then recenter. This is so fucking cool. And now, go faster. Wow. Life, life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. And now, goodbye. That may have been too soon. <laughs> you are in the dead middle. My bird was about to disappear. I maybe just could have... <laughs> I can't do anything, man. I can't do anything. Quick! I need a portable pot! A porta potty, if you will. Quick, eat an apple. I can't do anything. Please don't put me back at the top of that place. Please don't put me back up there. It's loading really slow. <laughs> no! <laughs> day 15! Give it up for day 15! I don't think we need the fans. Yeah, I'm starting to think I maybe just wasted like a shit ton of time. Oh my god. I don't think we need the fans and I'm like really mad, but that's okay. Listen, we're just, we're just getting a feel for things. 
I didn't know I didn't know how necessary because I was expecting like oh you gotta you gotta build constructs they gotta be like this crazy these crazy contraptions to really get you across the land uh no not quite not quite not initially at least but it was fun yeah no I mean it's like it's totally just it was so much fun just like really testing the limits of everything much I like that this thing will just disappear after a certain amount of time though I guess they kind of have to do it that way uh cheesy thank you so much for the $20 tip I appreciate it women in st women in stem for real Penny Parker PhD and Breath of the Wild 2 physics uh, I don't know about that oh wow oh yeah oh, okay so it disappears a lot less quickly when you're um not using constructs on it. There we go. Oh my god, finally. Hey, remember when I said I didn't want to still be in this tutorial area by 3 in the morning? I thought you were about to hit land. Could you imagine? I can. Okay, so... It is now pretty clear to me that we are about to get the, uh, fuse ability, which I am extra ultra hand excited for. We are still in the tutorial level, yes. I have been playing this tutorial for three and a half hours. Well, three hours. I mean, it was, it was the same with the first game, too. That great plateau area, like I said, that, that shit took a long time. Oh man, you know what? I need um I need a drink of some kind. One second. I'm so sorry, I just slapped the microphone with my headphones. Oh, I'm sorry, Chad. I'm sorry. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Also, I, I, I haven't used it yet, but don't think I didn't notice that little log button. something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it you can undo the fusion but that will destroy whatever has been attached oh mm. my god this is the fuse ability it allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield thereby enhancing it why not pick up that sword just ahead and then fuse a nearby object to it mm. use fuse and then receive the blessing from this shrine yes 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 Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Holy moly in a cephalopod. That's so cool. Okay. What to fuse? I know. <laughs> How about one stick? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the The Boulder <laughs> Holy shit. And so now <laughs> Boulder Hammer with eight attack. This is crazy. Well while we're here, we might as well uh do this as well. <laughs> I love that it has no cooldown as well. That's really, really good. Oh, man. Insane. Insane. I cannot believe this is the game. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and... 
Let's just make even more shit. Oh, hold on, wait. I actually need one of these. Here, let's drop one wooden stick. Tree branch. <laughs> and now we just have a... The, the wooden stick branch and the boulder hammer have the same attack if, if they use the, the wooden stick in them. So cool. I wonder what happens if you uh, fuse a tree branch to my shield. <laughs> Is that just extra? Yeah, it's just <laughs> extra defense. A tree branch shield. It looks so ugly. I cannot believe it. Uh, you cannot fuse the master sword initially. Though. Wait, actually, I, I guess I didn't try it the other. I tried dropping it. I tried to see if I could drop it. I don't think you can. Oh, <gasps> yeah. No. Okay. You can't. You can't fuse on a damaged blade. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Maybe. Uh, maybe when we repair it, though. This is gonna be awesome. I guess we'll see. Oh yeah, we need a, right, cause, oh my God, yeah, cause hammers break box, or break rocks and like boulders and stuff more easily. And this counts as a hammer, oh my God! Literally. It was always such an inconvenience in the original game to have to always make sure I had like a hammer on hand. Cause I don't wanna, cause if I'm like on a cliff side and there's like like a mineral deposit and I wanna like pick up some like, some flint and like glowstone or whatever, I don't wanna use a bomb and have all the shit that I wanna pick up flying everywhere. So now you can just literally make your own hammers. You don't have to always have one. And I assume it's gonna be like a similar situation with like the axes. I also really love how they just don't even give a shit about like equipping it and making the boulder like so much smaller. They're like, yeah, it's a video game, whatever. You don't care. And you're right, I don't care at all. What is this? Fire fruit. <gasps> a fruit that generates heat when struck. Cook correctly, its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures? What? Plus one fuse attack power? What the hell? Oh, and I guess this is like something you make to... to do fire arrows. Because yeah, they're giving us a... giving us a bow and some arrows here. Oh my god. So like, yes. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. What about an apple? Is that just more attack? Apple arrow. Alright, let's do, um, yeah, let's do a uh, fire fruit. Wait, is there a, there's a sword button? That's really, really good. Oh my god, that is such a good consideration. Because I was literally just thinking, I hated having to go all the way to the end of that to find the fire fruit. Oh my god! Amazing. Oh my god, amazing. The most used is super handy? Yeah, I believe it. Don't you mean ultra handy? Key to a door inside a shrine of light. Mm, very cool. I see. I thought that was the one with the chest. I was like, is it still up there? Are we in Minecraft? Hello? That almost just killed me. It's okay.
Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow, woo. What's this? Get off of there. Interesting key system. That wasn't in the original, I don't think. Was it? What? There were occasionally Saran keys? Okay. They appear like five times total. Okay. And that's my bad. Whoa. Okay, what is this all about? <laughs> oh, I see! I'm very interested. So, okay. How do I... So how do I remove stuff? Because it said I could, it would just destroy what had been attached. Maybe in the... Yeah, destroy fused material. Yeah, okay. Cool. That, that, that works. That works for me. Long stick. Wooden stick. Tail sucker. Broke an Amy Tennis. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it's real now. Bam. Spiky spear. Spiky club. And the enemies all come with like their own like fused weapons and everything. That is so cool. Die. What if? Choo choo jelly? Freeze! Damn. Soldier construct horn. What a rush room. What would that do? Hold on. What the fuck did. What does that do? No, no, no. Don't do that. Wait, you already had one! What do you get to do too? Captain Construct Horn. Five fuse attack power. Wavy double edged blade like horn is a formidable weapon when it comes to slashing. Attached to a weapon to increase attack power. Super cool. Did it make arrow fast? I have literally no clue. I don't know. I wonder. I think it would be cool if there was like a. um like a fuse recipe system as well, but I don't know if that's... Doesn't seem like that's a thing, at least not immediately. What does this count as? Just another hammer? <clears throat> it's definitely easier to use. so cool okay you know what i'm gonna um i'm gonna unfuse the cool broadsword they gave me that's just a re that's just that's a really good consideration i love that <laughs> i'm always gonna check behind All right, we've seen it. Mm -mm. Was there ever something behind in Breath of the Wild? I think like once. I saw a tweet about this that was like, 
Like you totally always check behind the the uh the end of the shrines. And you never found anything, did you? <clears throat> oh. I see you've restored some power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. Cool, okay. Whoa. Nice. Okay, so you can only still track one main quest at a time. Makes sense. Let's... You know what? Not yet. Hold on. We need to find a shirt! Please. God damn it, I don't need arrows! I need a shirt! I need clothes! I'm a, I'm a, I'm vulnerable to the forces of nature right now. I'm feeling every individual breath of this wild, if you will. The mushroom's chock full of natural enemy. Cook it to release its stamina restoration properties. No! I'll never do that for the entire playthrough. And that's a promise. Just kidding. I can't commit to that. I actually want to. A uh, paraglider would really hit nice right now. Korok? Hello. What does the log look like? Ah, oh, cool! Very good. Very good feature. Thank you, Nintendo. <sighs> Whoa! The transparency! I can't do it. Alright. I think now it is time to simply... Oh, we could explore over here. Uh, I feel like I have. Yeah, I haven't. I feel like I haven't explored this area. Start marking more things. Oh well. Okay, let's go back here. We can always come back. Wait, can you not? You not fast travel? Oh shit. Okay. I I don't know why I was. I guess they hadn't introduced it yet. I I mean I assume you can later. I just had forgotten they hadn't actually... That, like, they, they tutorialized it in the first game. That's weird that they wouldn't have by this point. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Yes, please. Down into the secrets. Shirt? Don't talk to me. So, so this is cool, because, like, now it's, like, you want to always have, like, as many resources on hand as possible. 
Because there's just going to be a use for shit, like, all the time. an axe, thank you. It was just an axe. Ree, ree, ree. Oh, I think that's like an alternate way you could have gotten over here if you hadn't started with the other. Um if you hadn't started with the other shrine, and also if you were, like, just a little bit smarter than I am. <laughs> Thick stick! Wonder. Hold on. Come one, come all, a spectacular showcase you'll never see ever again in your life. A young shirtless boy walks across a chasm of death and destruction on top of the rail. No safety nets, no balancing devices. Just his own wits and skills. Be amazed. Can't wear a restless cricket. Not restless anymore. Remember when I said you'd never see it before in your life ever again? I was lying! <laughs> My wife may have left me for dishonesty, but you are physically not able to. I'm here. You're here. I've trapped you in my maze. You'll never leave again. If you know what's good for you. <laughs> I need to reach my friend! Aw, I'll help. <laughs> hey, what's going on, buddy? Oh, no! Poor guy! Hey! This is awful! Where's my friend? No. Huh? You can see me? I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, yeah. but we got separated. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Huh. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. <gasps> Sorry, friend. No can do. Just came from there. Not in the interest of uh, going back, you know? Always looking forward. It's kind of my MO. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> was that there when I was there? Anyway. <laughs> I 
I want to do it. 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 Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Let's go. Hello. I'm waiting here for my friend. Yeah. My friend is over that way. I wonder what happened. Yeah. What are you? What am I? What? Uh. What am I supposed? What am I supposed to do? <gasps> oh, I guess. Oh, I think I had to like. Oh, I had to like pick him up. I forgot. I bit picking up with with a button isn't the only option. Whoa! Huh? 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 No! No! Time. <laughs> oh hey! Actually, kind of worked out in my favor. I should do reckless things more often. Is what I've learned. I was taught by the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the kingdom. <laughs> uh, oh, right. This is the wrong one. Have fun. <laughs> and I can go too. I wish you could like glue it to yourself. Oh my god, could you imagine? me over on this, you get to help push. That's not, that's not working. Look out! <laughs> oh no, crushed! Cook him! Cook him! We're having roast Korok tonight. should know better by now. <laughs> Fire and wood? I'm sure it'll be fine. The fire's not pointing at it. Oh god, the grass is on fire! <laughs> 
Here. Wait, that's too much momentum. I'm starting to think the 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 fire emitters don't really do much for like speed, like force generation. Maybe it's just because I'm like attached to the ground. Yeah, wow, they don't do shit. Okay, well now we know. Now we know for sure. I guess our, our best course of action is just the old-fashioned way. What do you mean, go around? <laughs> Stabilize? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh god. Okay. tell if this is a bit it isn't and by saying that you're being mean congratulations okay uh yeah all right so it's just a just a straight shot over well not a straight shot but close enough Bot two. Yeah, I'm 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 just having a good ass time. I don't I'm not like building the most efficient contraptions or doing things in the most efficient way, but also it's kind of the fun of it. If if I'm if I'm having fun and winning, it's all that matters. still at work even now we originally created the cron the cons the constructs we originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors all of us were fond of them i never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day hmm. the fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose yet they perform it still it is disquieting to me reminds me of retail easier. <laughs> oh, I love it. Literally, like, this is such a better system than having to have, like, two separate abilities. 
that interact with physics objects. One of them like stops it. The other one like picks up things, but only metal things. Like this is so much better. This is so great. It's just more fun to be able to move like anything and everything around. It's very interesting to me, the idea that this started as an idea like for DLC. Sorry, I'm adjusting my seat. Whoa! Okay. It's it's it, it's really interesting to me that this started as a DLC idea. Cause then that makes you that makes you wonder, like, how much of this was even in the original concept? Was it literally just like the Sky Islands idea? And then all of this like creative stuff happened after? Or was the creative like ultra hand shit the foundation of it? It's it's really interesting to me. Oh, we don't have to hold on. Hmm. Not yet. It could it it could be more. What's the song you keep repeating? The one that goes, "Oh, that you know you'll be leaving at the eye." Uh, I played it in the pre-stream. It's uh, it's called "Hero of Our Time" by Nate Wants to Battle. It is from the. The Songs of Time album, which is an album that he created uh, that like covers the the story of Ocarina of Time, which I have never played, but I love that album. And because tonight is Zelda night, I was I was playing a lot of the songs in the free stream, just for for hype reasons. What happened? No, I wasn't I wasn't scared. That works for now. Go, 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 <laughs> go. Ocarina of Time streams in the future? Absolutely. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I literally, I talked about it earlier in the stream tonight, but I'll, I'll say once again. Yeah, no, it is my intention to, uh, die off of this waterfall. <laughs> I thought I could make it. I thought I could make it if I swam fast enough. Um, <laughs> just go right here. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I have never played Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. Uh, I've never played more than like 20 minutes of Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword. And I have only ever played like the first, I think like third of Wind Waker when I was like a teenager. So basically I have never like really truly played to a substantial degree any of the other 3D Zeldas except for Breath of the Wild. And in fact, the only Zelda games that I have ever beaten are Breath of the Wild and the uh, Link's Awakening remake. Um, So like, there's a lot that I haven't played of this series. Um, and you know, I would like to, I, I would really, really like to. So, um, and I'm, I'm, I, I'm like upset. I didn't do it before. I, I'm upset. I, I didn't think about it so much in advance that I, I, I didn't do it in the lead up to this game's release, but eventually, yes, I'm going to do like a, like a stream marathon of all of the 3D Zeldas. Like in the same way that I'm doing the um, the Metroid Prime series. Uh, well, not in the same way, because hopefully they would be closer together than Metroid Prime 1 and 2 have been. Um, but like, play it on 3DS if you can. Okay, here's, okay, I appreciate it. I, I'm gonna play it on whatever I wanna play it. <laughs> like, I am probably gonna play it on the N64, because I, I would like to. Um, I do appreciate that the 3DS version is like just the game, but with more quality of life features. But I don't know. I want to play the original. Uh, I, yeah, I appreciate the sentiment, but also, you know, I'll, I'll, de I will decide what platforms to play it on. Trust me. I, I can do my research. I do not need suggestions. Um, but anyway, yeah, I am going to like, I'm going to do like all of the 3D Zelda games in a row. Uh, and hopefully sooner rather than later. Hopefully sooner rather than later. 
Um, isn't it on Switch? It is, but I'm going to play it on original hardware. Because I have a really cool N64 capture setup with a, with a retro tank that looks really good. Well, okay. To be, to be fair, I don't actually know 100% for certain if I'm going to play on original hardware, but I think I am going to. Like, I think that is the way I would prefer to play it. Because I like the vibes of it. What'd you think of Link's Awakening? Oh, I loved it. I loved it to death. Uh, I thought it was really, really, really good. I have a stream series up. Um, I did it a while ago, so it's it's a bit old. Uh, and it's not it's not up to current standard of quality, but uh, it is there if you want to watch it. Okay, so. What the hell is this? Is this a tier? One of the tiers of the kingdom? <laughs> oh, what is this? What the fuck is going on? Oh, it's this shot. What is happening? Oh, this is so cool. So far, I just, I just adore the vibes of this game compared to the first. Like, everything about this game aesthetically is such a step up. It's so much more like in line with my taste. What the fuck? What is happening? <laughs> no kidding. Reverse an object's move it until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement anytime. I forgot about this one. Hmm. Ah, recall. The ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. What you just saw, it's a mystery even to me. And perhaps it was a sort of echo, one that reflects her sheer will. Hmm. That you've now been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. Wow, oh my god, okay, alright. So... Oh, I see, I see. Whoa! Whoa! Weird! Ooh! Yucky! <laughs> okay. This shit's weird and wacky! And scooby dooby snacky! Come on, let me up, let me up! I did it too early, but also... I am so fucking happy that there's no cooldown. Oh my god, I'm so happy that there's no cooldown. <laughs> they are giving me my life. Thank you for my life. Oh, that was, again, way too early. I gotta get the timing on that down. Hi! Oh 
my god, it's you. You! The goddess statue smiles upon you. Hey, bitch, I'm back. <laughs> you ready for another hundred plus hours of this? Let's fucking go! Let, what are you- what? What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> go backwards! <laughs> That's not doing anything. Stop smiling at me and tell me something real! Temples deeper mysteries await you. Steward construct. Oh no, that's what is what is happening? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> sorry, I was uh, time-outing someone. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Hmm. The door stands at a test for your overall vitality. Hmm. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. But there is one more shrine on this island. There you can get another blessing. Oh my god! Let me off the island! Let me go! Oh, if you add that to the other blessings you received at shrines, and offer them all to the goddess, you might just find your way forward after all. Mm. Let me see the Pura pad. I want to get off the tutorial! Actually insane that they force you to walk there just to leave and come back? I don't understand! Why are they doing it like this? Pad lets you travel to a certain place. Oh, it's so that you can learn about fast travel. Come on, man. <laughs> there had to be a better way to do it than that. See all the blue marks on your map? You can travel instantly. Okay, yeah. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find the last of this island shrines around there somewhere. Good fucking luck. What are you talking about? To spite speedrunners. That's so annoying. Hey, you know what? This is a great milestone. First fucking annoyance of the game. <laughs> Let's go. We learned nothing from Fallout 3. I especially haven't, because I've never played it. Yo! Oh, I see. Oh, shit! I was right! I was totally fucking right! Oh my god, wait, that makes so much sense! You can see... You can li- well, I mean, you can literally see the gears turning, if you will. But you can see, like... Oh, how you're supposed to put it all together! Okay, I don't mind as much now because it validated me in my brain. Whee! Oh, I love that. Whoop. Let's go. All of my all of my shitty rock and stick equipment just rattling around everywhere. Wow. <gasps> Nacho sh <laughs> Hi. This is a crystal refinery. 
I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Energy wells? An energy well can increase the capacity of the energy cell you're carrying. This increased capacity will allow you to use Zonai devices for longer periods. I can produce these energy wells for you if you bring me crystallized charges. Shall I begin production, or would you like me to explain crystallized charges, you thick bitch? Okay, yes. Uh, crystallized charges are materials used in the creation of energy wells. They are made by producing zenite. Zenite can- we're just making up shit at this point, but you understand. Uh, can be excavated even in the mining cave on this island. Though there is very little left there, it is unlikely you will find enough to produce an energy well. Ugh, Jesus. Are you understanding any of this? Greater concentrations can be found in the distant depths of the world below. It was originally mined from there. That completes the explanation. Shall I produce energy wells for you? Uh, sure, yeah. Okay, the production will require at least 100 crystallized charges. You don't have fucking any, so maybe if you want to stop being, like, dishonest, stop punching above your weight, you can go, like, get some. Uh, one note regarding the zonite, re zona, zonite, uh, required to, pro to pro pro sorry, I've been awake for a long time, uh, required to process crystallized charges. Uh, the mines on this island have nearly run dry. <laughs> I doubt there is enough left to produce an energy well. Sorry! Uh, there's more to be had. Check the distant depths of the world below. That is its original source. Okay. Bye now! Leave me alone now. I don't get paid to babysit. Please go. Let's see. <laughs> Alexa! I, that's like, oh my god, that's like my new favorite thing you've ever said. She's mean in a way that settles. I, I hate that I like understand what you mean. Like I get it and I agree. Why do I agree? Oh my god, it's so funny. Thought you said Alexa? I did. That's that's a uh, that's Moe Ninja Cat's name. <laughs> Sorry to dox you like that. Oh, I see. The entire water go backward. The entire water go backward. Okay. The entire water go backward now. Please. No. Okay. I understand. How about just the stick go backward? You discovered my water trick. Go. Whoa. 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 <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, when you when you nut in water, it pushes you backward. Hey, this game rules. Why do I have another fucking like <laughs> ulcer on my tongue? It was making it so like uncomfortable to to, to drink my beverage. <gasps> so annoying. Weird. What? 
the fuck? Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> no way, that's awesome! That's so cool! Give me. Give me and don't talk to me anymore. I'm skipping. Don't call me. Don't come by my house. We're done. Very cool. All right. Finally. For the love of God. Oh, no. Oh, it's just the same place. I don't need to be scared. I thought it was a new place and it wanted me to do it again. And I was like, no, thanks. No, thank you. Wait, actually. Wait, now would be a great time to do it. I think. How far did we get? We got about here last time. Which makes me think we could get about here next time. Hmm. What if I got more fans? Where's the thing? Room of Awakening. Oh, here's the thing. I can't even... I can't find a way to, easy way to... Uh, go back up there. Wait, what is... Is this a different thing? Actually... Oh, shit! I'm starting to think that this actually is just like a different... They have two, like, launch pads like that. Where was that other one? Oh, that other one was over here. Oh, shit. They actually do want me to do this, like, right now. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Just came from my... Just came from Fidel's stream. He was struggling. We've been struggling, too, but in a fun way. I hope he's enjoying it, though. <laughs> nah, it was vile. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Wait. They really want me to do this. And I want to also. <laughs> no! Oh, man. If only. Okay, now what? Now what's up here? Oh, hold on. We can just get the Korok from here. It would have been so cool to get it from the top there, though. He jumped from really high and splatted himself on a dock instead of hitting water. Hey, listen, we yeah, we've had some close calls. I I sympathize. Okay, this game is not entirely easy to figure out every so often. I, the thing about it is that when you're streaming, it's it's all of the like. All of the stakes and the importance and, and weight of every mistake is heightened because it's, like, recorded. But, like, like when people just make mistakes while playing on their own time, they don't really, like, think about it. It's just like, oh, shit. Let me try again. And then, like, it just disappears from your memory. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Maybe that's just the ADHD. Well, I don't know how worth it this was, actually. 
Maybe I could... I don't... I'm not going to get the lift I need if I try and push this thing off here. There is fast travel now, yeah. But I want to fly. Okay. He tried at it's adding a turbine to the bottom of a glider. <laughs> what the fuck? Who would do that kind of thing? <laughs> um, who, who the fuck would do that kind of thing in this game? What? It's so obvious that you don't need to do that kind of thing. What? What the fuck in hell? That's so silly, guys. Thanks for telling me that. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Balance out, balance out! You son of a bitch. It's okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're fine. <laughs> I, was about to, I was about to slam his nose on the stone arch. That's okay. You know what, at this point we can just go. That was really close. But in like a like a fun, exciting, like sexy, exciting way, you know? I wanted the bird to hit you so bad. I think that I think that bird is gone. I think that bird is having its own adventures. I think we're gonna get like five more hours into the game. And that bird is gonna fall from the sky and hit us when it's most inopportune. No, I can't explain, okay? It's just a vibe I got, all right? You don't have to you don't have to agree. I didn't say agree with me, agree with me. I was just putting my heart and soul out there, all right? Yeah, maybe maybe I misread the room. Whatever. Sue me. Don't actually sue me. I really can't afford it. You know you need to show us your five years of research for that statement. Oh, easy. How about this? I've been sexy and and knowing that I'm sexy for five of those years. Is that good enough for you, officer? Do you need to see my identification? ID. Uh, it's called a profile pic, hon. <laughs> you who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will grant you power. I was gonna say, I don't even have the choice for stamina and then I remember it, I'll literally die from this door if I don't choose heart container. You want a heart container? Yes, I do. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> hey, did you just fucking eat that? That wasn't supposed to happen. You're not gonna get a fourth heart. I don't understand. Where, where did that just go? It turned into it turned into smoke. I think. What? I've never seen this happen before. Can you puke it? No, no. Too gross. Go and bring peace to the world. Anyway, now let's die. But really in a cool way. Like a Dark Souls character. 
you know, when you <laughs> die from opening a door in Dark Souls and not from anything else in the game, because those games are easy and for babies. Oh! Yikes. Cool. Ah, oh, good. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. We're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Cool, I love mitigation. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. You are exactly as Zelda said. What did she say about me? I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. No! Oh my god, this is really like... This is so much more parallel to, to Breath of the Wild than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's like the exact same setup. But it looks better. Plays a little better too. I don't mind. Raru. Ru -ru -ru Raru? Rare? <gasps> Is Nintendo buying Rare again? What? New announcement? Exclusive? This is so beautiful. Oh no, it's the sunset. Guys, we have to wait for it to be the sunrise, okay? Huck. You mind sitting here for a second? Huck. Is this a tutorial? Yeah, yeah. This is this is the great plateau of this area. We have not we have not entered the game yet, basically. Hello? Oh. <laughs> I see. Puppies! Oh, what is this? What is this? No, stop. <laughs> Be cool. I love the kind of like painterly lighting on his skin. You notice that? It's he's like textured in a cool way. Oh. What is going on? No, wait. Oh shit. <gasps> oh cool. Give it back. Wait a fucking second. Is this like a is this like a time travel thing? <laughs> Did we like sleep for another like hundred years under the rocks and like Oh my god. If you know, don't tell me. If you know, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm so curious. 
Whoa. Yeah, we've been seeing this guy. I guess if it is like a time travel thing, we're about to find out really soon because I don't know how we could you know, be set on this open world and, like, Blink. go to the same places without some evidence of that. Hello? Blink! You must find me. Oh my god! This is so cool! To the kingdom of Hyrule. Oh my god! Find Princess Zelda. Shit! Look at this! Oh my god, with the way the cl oh, the clouds! Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I wish it wasn't like... Dead night time right now. Do you imagine like a- like a sunrise or a sunset over this vista? Oh man, okay. Let's fucking go. Yeah, it's time. Let's go. We're in it now. <laughs> What the fuck is that? Wow, okay. Oh. Just a bunch of little ones littered around, like, way closer to the ground. Wow, wait, is that the... Is that the plateau? I think that's the plateau. Oh my god. Holy shit. Here come the what is that moments. Let's go. I know. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> We're so back. Okay. Dazzle fruit. A fruit charged with powerful light. Break it to unleash dazzling sparks that blind any monster nearby. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're in it. We're in the video game. Okay, so find Princess Zelda. I feel like... Where is this? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Our first lead is obviously the castle. Underneath the castle is where we last saw her. Um, oh, shit. Oh, was that like that... That was that camp that she just pointed us to. Where was that? I got really turned around here. I can't even see. Oh, okay. Hold on. So we were right here. Was that it? Right there? I'm like, I don't, I don't, like, I don't even know where the closest one is. Hold on. Let's get a little bit of a better vantage point here. So there are towers, but they look like they are sitting right above, like, camps. Oh my god, wait, is that maybe, like... Maybe that's, like, a new way to handle, like, stables? Kind of have the same thing going there? You can change map layers. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. Oh, wait a second. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. I'm wrong. Yeah, okay. This was the one she showed us. This was the closest one. The marker isn't at the castle. The marker is at the tower. So I don't even have to pin it. Okay, let's go. Not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> Too little, uh... Too little speed for all the damage it'll do to my shield. Legitimately, I am like, I'm so, I'm so enamored already. Okay. What's this? What am I looking at here? We need a shield that takes zero damage from surfing. I wonder if, oh man, I wonder if that's something you could do with fuses. 
Hyrule Restoration Materials. Use this materials cache for all your building needs. Come find us if you'd like a dream home. Hudson Construct. Hudson Construction. Guys, I have so many ideas. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Hold the fuck on. Get out of here. I want to try something fucking insane. What would this do? Okay, nothing. Okay, it's just a it's just a layer. Damn it! I was like, can we like fucking make like a? Okay, so we can't make a mini skateboard on our shield, but I know we could definitely make a skateboard with this shit. It does look kind of cool though. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Hey, listen. Not everything is gonna work, but we're we're experimenting. That's the fun part. Okay, so I'm I'm thinking how how do I wanna, how do I wanna do this? I wanna I would love to What devices do we have? We don't really have much by way of like things to like thrust this with. Hold on. Rushroom, stimulus, sky shroom, raw meat, amber, flint, cheesy jelly, striped horn, stand bulb, dazzle fruit. Let's try this dazzle fruit thing. What does this do? Whoa! Cool! Oh, and it blinds them! Yes! This is amazing! Suck shield equipper. Oh, oh cool! We got a new shield. Perfect. Um Sundelion, a wild plant that grows in the sun at high altitudes. Soaked in sunlight, its petals can restore health depleted by gloom when used in cooking. Interesting. Health depleted by gloom is a mechanic I don't think we've run into yet. Rusty shield, thank you very much. I will go ahead and switch to the rusty shield. Just that we are using something. Um, that is a little bit more disposable. Uh, I mean, I, I know we've been introduced to gloom. That's kind of like what is... I don't know, if it isn't, isn't the gloom like what is kind of fucking up our, our, our body? No, that's what they... That's like what they established was like making people sick or something at the beginning, right? Am I crazy? I feel like that was a thing. Anyway, I'm gonna stop dilly dallying. Um, so I don't think we've run into it. It's the malice of this game. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So we can make a tricycle. But then, yeah, the problem is like. Like, what's our best course of thrusting it? I guess we could just take it to, like, the top of a hill and, and, and like, roll it down. This is literally making me, like, feel like a kid. Like, I'm literally, like... I am, I am talking as if I am playing outside with my friends. You know? Okay, is that gonna work? I, I assume they, they're gonna apply some, like, video game logic here, and the wheels are gonna be able to, like, turn if they're attached to the glue. But I am curious about the limitations of this. I don't know... Let's just test it out. You know what? I actually don't know if... Wow! 
Oh, oh shit. I don't actually think it's gonna, it's gonna work. Either that or it's like just too off balance or something. Yeah, I, so I don't think the cool table though. <laughs> yeah, that's a shitty table. You have to stick them on the side, maybe. Oh yeah, hey. I'm literally, I'm like learning how things are made. You po possibly need the fourth wheel. That doesn't, that doesn't track to me. I, I think we need like, I don't know. Hey, that doesn't track as like the kind of limitation that they would have. It really seems like it's like super emergent in the way you can fuck around with it. What if I did just like leave that there? <laughs> that was like, I was like, that's not gonna work because the height is super different. Yeah, they're just not turning. That makes me very curious. I think you need to stick them from the middle for them to spin. I don't know if you can. You did earlier? Yeah, but that's only, it's not really, I, I don't, hold on. <laughs> Just hurt myself. Okay, did that do anything? I know it's not really gonna like roll that way, but I was trying to see if I could get the wheel to at least like turn. Okay, cool, all right. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Oh. No, shit, wait. <laughs> it's too thin. Hold on. Quickly take materials out of your inventory. Oh shit! <laughs> the new and improved master cycle. Hey, get back here. <laughs> this is not gonna work! <laughs> I forgot, yeah, you can't do it from the bottom. Oh, that's not gonna, that's really not gonna work. That's nothing. All right, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> we can play, we can play later. I wanna get to this, uh... If I had, like, another wheel to work with, I can maybe do something with this. But I don't. Oh? Damn it. Oh, could you imagine? Shit, it's the wrong button. Uh oh, you don't know me. You don't know me at all. Whoop. Yeah, nice try, fucker. <laughs> I attach a wing to it. 
that do? Does that do anything? Does that just make it go farther? Maybe? Whoa! Cool! What a zone I charge. Whoa, nothing. Wow, oh, look, nothing. Digital style! This game is amazing. This is great. This is exactly the promise of that initial gameplay reveal. Oh my god! There are caves! They have caves! Discovery! Whoa! Discovery! A demon! Branch Ruins Cave! There are caves! There are fucking caves! Guys, there are caves! Oh my god! No way! Discovery! A man who wants to kill you! Yo, hold on. Ah, oh, shit. No, I'm not gonna go all the way back there. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, dumbass. Get over here. Oh my god. A horriblin. A horriblin horn and a horriblin claw. Horriblin's day and horriblin's... Horriblin eats with a horriblin maw. Right, Cap, a mushroom that grows in caves contains luminescent enzymes. Cook it into a dish to give it cook it into a dish to give a glowing effect to anyone who eats it. We we light ourselves up. Raw material. Okay. Oh yeah, so that just begs the question. Bright bloom. What was the other thing? Bright cap. I think I, I think I didn't properly read the tooltip that taught me how to throw things. Oh, hold R then up. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, that makes sense. No. All right. I'm not going to worry about that. What about... What's this do? Nothing. <laughs> okay, cool. Not that we know, at least. Oh, what about this? Hold on. Just experimenting. Shit. Not quite what I wanted. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, glow shield. <laughs> Oh, I'm now realizing there was an easier way to do that. I gotta, I gotta, like, keep my new abilities so much more to the forefront of my mind. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a bad time. This should be something good, please. Gear? Oh! Yes! Thank you! Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you so fucking much for this. Oh my god. Yes. 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 That's it. That's it. There's so much quality of life stuff! 
It just, it changes every- Big frog? Are you- Are you a friend or foe? Hey. Okay, well you're not foe. Oh. Hi. Okay, well you're not doing anything super interesting. So I will kill you. But just know it's not personal. It's for resources. What? Oh, there we go. You don't have a health bar. Oh, never mind. Bubblegum. <laughs> a strange crystal left by defeated bubble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. We got bubblegum. We got some we got some hubba bubba for that shit. I'd kill somebody for a stick of hubba bubba. This stream sponsored by Hubba Bubba. Hello. They got lemmings going on over there. Uh oh. May village ruins well. <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh my god, and the, the cave icons? Oh my god. So much of this is underground. That's awesome. What the fuck are these? Hello? Glowing cave fish. A luminous fish that lives in dark caves when consumed. Yeah, another glowing thing. That seems to be... a common benefit we're trying to get from things. Not gonna dash again? You- I'm so sorry about what just happened to you, but that was your own fault. You can't blame me for that one. So cool. <laughs> Give me the minerals. Yeah, rock salt, my classic friend. Flint! I already seen one of you, but my classic friend. Okay. Well, up we go. Oh, this game is going to change everything. Oh! Noted. I see you! I see you! Not yet. Holy shit. Come on. Where are we going? Central Hyrule Sky Archipelago? This is way too high. I did not realize it was going to be this high. What? What? More? Weird. Okay.
Okay, yeah, we can't get any higher than that. Uh oh. Okay, we're fine. Wow, the game is beautiful right now. <gasps> ah, the little like the little fluttering piano. RP walk. <laughs> here, let's get let's get a little more minimalist here. You know what? I forgot. We don't need to be warm anymore. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! People are like setting up settlements in. The post of the post 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 apocalypse. Link, it's you. You're back. W where have you been? Aww. Last that anyone saw either you or Princess Zelda was when you went to investigate the gloom, and then the castle rose into the sky, and everyone's been so worried about what happened to you both. Pira has nearly worn herself out trying to figure out where you two went! Pira's working in that large building over there. Uh. Please, report to her right away. She'll want to know you're alright. Pira! Ain't that the little, little lady? Let's see now. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's you! Your arrival is sure to cause a bit of a stir, hmm? <laughs> Oh, but you probably needed something, didn't you? Well, if this is your first visit, go talk to that soldier in the center of our little fort. Oh, this is awesome. I don't believe it. No. Link, where, where have you been this whole time? We hoped you'd come back soon, but then you didn't, and... Now you have. Where's Princess Zelda? You didn't bring her with you? <clears throat> Whatever happened, please go talk to Pira first and foremost. She's up in her research lab. It's on the north side of our fort, up on the second floor. Hurry. Okay, Scorpus. This person got a Nintendo Switch shirt on? No? Okay. Boring. Just a vest. I hope she cured her thing. Yeah, me too. Duck looks busy. Hello? What? That hair! Those eyes! Duck! Duck de Pira! The swordsman! The swordsman has returned! <gasps> yeah! Oh my god, yes! Okay. Now where have you been? Hell yeah! Oh Linky, my god! You're not a ghost, are you? She's got a hey. voice and everything! That looks interesting. I love her, 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 I love her. One step at a time. She's so cool. Yes! What exactly happened? Oh my god, thank god. Oh, she's normal. She's cool. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, which and then a mysterious daddy. Then, Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. 
Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. And then you, you met another the daddy. Pad from an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Ravu. Yes, we literally... We Master literally... Sword this just happened. <laughs> this is a weird choice. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. You, you can't just say we filled her in? What? Then... What? Are you saying you came from up there? This Raru you met. I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense. Yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help? Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the secret is named Haas. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. I know that mummy may still be working, lurking around here somewhere. Or somewhere around there. Which is concerning, to say the least. But we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. <gasps> cool! Oh my god! I'm so happy! Don't show me that little freak. Get her out of here. Who needs her? The highest authority on ancient technology. She, she has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life. And has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments, despite being over a century in age. New reverse her aging in the stream and actually look at... Yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> awesome. Cool. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I wonder where that came from. Oh, man. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Below Hyrule Castle. That is, like, the most exciting thing in the world. Is this about to be fucking, like... Elden Ring's whole shit twice over? Like how in Elden Ring it's like, oh... Cool, the overworld map just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But then you discover that there's an entire fucking underground map that's like half the size of the the overworld. But like this is like introducing some crazy like verticality that I was not expecting. Like Cause we knew about the Sky Islands. I don't think there was any indication that this game would be going down so much, and that is extremely exciting to me. Let's go up. Speaking of. Journal, yes. Yes. A stairway leading deep beneath Hyrule Castle has been discovered. Even Princess Zelda didn't know about it, so it seems safe to assume it's a secret removed even from royal legend. We have confirmed that gloom emanates from that location, meaning something down there must be causing it. I appointed Princess Zelda and Link to investigate. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that Princess Zelda volunteered for the job before I had the chance. I know beyond a doubt there is no team more qualified for such a task, and yet... I can't escape this feeling of... dread. I have decided to store this diary in four volumes. Uh, that way it'll be something you have to find and discover and collect throughout the video game. And also, if a nosy someone reads it, they'll only have a quarter of it. Such ideas are the fruits of genius. As for the first one, I think I'll entrust it to... Who else but Impa? Speaking of Impa, uh, she's had a cute habit of hiding important items underneath things ever since she was a child. I have a fond memory of when she forgot about a hidden steamed bun beneath the cushion and then sat on it. Squashed flat. Diaries are flat to begin with. 
<laughs> but as they are more important than a bun, I hope she finds a better hiding spot than a cushion. Yeah, oh my god, that old- that old bag! Still alive? <laughs> Damn. Read your diary. All right. Oh, gosh. Hello. Oh. <sighs> Sorry I didn't greet you properly. When you first arrived here, Link, I was just so relieved to see you. My name is Scorpus. I've been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place, any at all, come right to me. I'll answer as best as I can. Ah. Now please, allow me to open up the emergency shelter. You. Hey, it's me! Open up! Oh my god. <laughs> this game loves hold. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Uh, feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Is any equipment you want? No kidding. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? This is so cool. Hi. Ah. Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter. Well, all are welcome. Please stay as long as you like. What are you doing here? Ah. I, Monty, have been tasked with the illustrious duty of watching the entrance of this renowned emergency shelter. Uh, my task involved taking orders from my superiors regarding when to open or shut the entryway. A noble task indeed. Hi. Watch your footing when using the ladder. If only one could go straight through the ceiling rather than using a tiresome ladder. Ha! Ah! Oh, but I digress. What the hell? Okay, I'm curious. How's this gonna work? He just shook that poor kid's worldview. Good. Gen Z needs some perspective, if you ask me. Okay. Well, that's not immediately activating. Interesting. Tower is EP. Huh. Oh. Let's let's go look at this equipment they mentioned. Oh, cool! Boko Reaper. That's awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Let's drop the wooden stick. Let's drop the wooden stick. Let's grab a Boko Reaper and a traveler sword. Well, that's like a little, it's like a little dagger. Kind of just operates exactly as a sword, though. I don't mind. Oh, and they have, oh, they have statues! In the, in the rooms. Oh my god, that is so much better. I'm gonna go on a survey. Very interesting. Healthy cooking, huh? Oh. Hey, are you new here? She may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I could say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name's Romano. They put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy like, for today's menu, we have a fruit and mushroom mix that'll rev you right up. Oh uh, yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but I'm plumb out of apples. If I don't have my most important ingredient, say goodbye to rich, full flavor. Oh, my nose is detecting an aroma, a sweet, 
tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? Yeah, sure, take it. <gasps> wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. I'm calling it the Bramano Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? It's just, it's just, okay. Huh. I like to make a big deal out of it, but uh, anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, mushroom, and a pot. Just try making some. So cute. Not bad. Oh, oh hey, is that you, Link? I've been nose down, so I don't know half what's been happening around me half the time. Well, that was weird. Uh, this is pretty involved, so I'm going to keep sitting here while I wrench on this. Uh, Might have heard, but when the upheaval happened, all of the weapons decayed. Put so much energy into trying to fix them. It's been no use. Decayed? Ah. Uh. Yeah, just before the upheaval, gloom began pouring out of the ground. It clung to the weapons, pulsing as if alive. It watches the weapons rot into pieces right before our eyes. Uh, it was all pretty wild. Breath of the wild. I don't understand how it happened. The time when Hyrule Castle can float, I've given up trying to make sense of most things. Uh, oh, yeah. In case nobody's mentioned yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. Though they probably won't be much use to you since they're, uh, you guessed it, decayed. Okay. What's up? Huh? Oh, uh, it's, it's you, Link. <laughs> Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get all my attention. Hmm. Are you interested in the different people of Hyrule and where they live? It's my entire field of study. Well, and I'm out on deployment with the monster control tr crew. Spent hours poring over maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable in lookout landing about Hyrule's various peoples and their towns and villages. Towns and villages? Oh. Yeah, Hyrule has eight major places that its various people call home. Lookout Landing is located here in central Hyrule. Up northwest of here, there is Rito Village in Hebra. Then there's Gerudo Town. That's located to the southwest in the Gerudo region. You'll find Goron City to the northeast in Elden. Travel a bit farther east and you'll come across Terrytown in Akala. Not too far from there is Zora's Domain. That's within the Lanayru region. <laughs> Continuing to southeast Hyrule, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian villages. These are within an area called Nakluda. There within that cluster, you'll find Kakariko Village, where the Sheikah live. And here, the village leader is quite lovely. And if you're seeking a tranquil spot, Hatino Village is worth a visit. <laughs> also, here it's become Hyrule's center of fashion. Finally, there's Laurelin Village. It's a wonderful getaway destination. Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. Removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the people of Hyrule, and that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew is on patrol each day, gathering information from everyone, everywhere. Did you just interrupt me? Anyway, there's been an increase in the number of unfamiliar monsters since the upheaval as well. Be careful out there. Fashion, that is where I will go first. I literally was just thinking that. I'm like, oh, hey, cool. Uh, a straight beeline to, uh... To Ateno Village? Cool. Actually, no. Uh, first, I'm gonna... I want to at least get to the point where I can start unlocking the map. If possible. So let me do that. Let me do this next thing, because I, I feel like it's gotta be soon, right? Oh! Wait a minute! What do you think you're doing? Um. Joshua needs that for her chasm research! I forgot what Robbie looked like. Don't touch any of it without her permission! I'll get in big trouble if you do! Hey! Hey, you! Do you have any idea how worried we've been? Head of Fear Path Development. Cool! I don't remember this oh. dude at all. <laughs> yeah, be honest. 
I, my most recent Breath of Wild save file did not get this far. So that's the arm, huh? I overheard Pura talking about it. Ah, I see. That's pretty weird, all right. Uh, nope. Now's not the time for the distractions. That's gonna wait until later. Anyway, here you've got yourself the Pura Pad now. You know that Pura Pad of yours can get a lot more powerful. I know it's real potential. Got big plans for that device, but first I need to help Josha with her investigations into the depths. Then, uh, oh yes, then. I will head back into the lab in Hateno Village to resume my research. So, once I'm able to finish up here, you should join me there. Cool. Easy dude, you could get overpriced guardian weapons from. Yeah, no, I remembered, like... I got to the point where his quest was introduced to me, but, um... I never actually saw him again. So, like... I have not- I had not seen him, literally until just now, I had not seen him since the original release of the game in 2017. Oh, hello! This is a crystal refinery. Oh, it's you again. Uh, leave me alone. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I wish I had my horse. Man, they didn't have like any clothes for me. At least I didn't notice any. Ooh. This thing. I should have known I would get no sleep tonight if I clicked on this stream. If it's any consolation, I'm in the same boat. I'm like, wow, it really is almost uh, five in the morning. Quick, don't look at the clock. Don't think about it. You don't want to leave. You don't want to leave. It is really funny. I started the stream with like 600 viewers and currently we're at like just under 400. And it's that number has been slowly ticking down. <laughs> And it makes me feel like I'm in like a slasher movie, you know? <laughs> like like the, the cast is just like slowly diminishing as the stream gets longer and as the night gets later and as I see more and more things that people don't want to see before they play it themselves. It's really, really funny. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely try and like temper my expectations as to like view counts for these streams. I think this series is gonna be what what are you doing? How is this possible? Hello? How? What? Oh, it's because you're here. I didn't see you. I am um And you're the last girl? On Earth? Oh no! That's gonna make things really inconvenient. Um Anyway, no, I was I was gonna say like, I'm really trying to temper my expectations in terms of like long-term view count uh, for the stream series. I think that a Tears of the Kingdom stream series is gonna have to, I'm gonna have to really push this as like evergreen content that people can watch when they're either like way more progressed through the game or outright finished with it. Um rather than expect it to do numbers from the very beginning. Because I know, I, I mean, I've had be so many people tell me directly, they're like, I am not going to watch this immediately because I'm gonna play the game myself. And I'm like, okay, cool. Fair, but also damned. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Our first, like, real shrine. Oh, I, st I, I love these doors. I love these doors. It's so cool. God, I love rocks. Me, unironically. Combat training, I'll take it. That's easy.
Well, maybe I speak too soon. The Boko Reaper already has something fused to it? What? A traveler's sword and a bokoblin horn. Okay. Noted. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, now we have kind of like a recipe. Okay. Let's see. Let's do um, a Dazzle Fruit on the shield so that if we get hit, it'll stun him. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> Try and purify the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Okay. Use this. Oh, it's a tutorial one. God damn it. I forgot <laughs> that they do this. Oh, man. I was ready to have fun. Okay. Damn it. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks? Yeah, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I get it. I get it. Wow, the the allowance here is insane. I feel like. No, I don't want to use it now. Well, I either use it or it gets destroyed, so might as well. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it! I understand! I've done all this already! Damn it. It's a tutorial one. Fuck! Yeah, yeah. Give me the reward. I've done your fucking preschool. At least, you know, the flashbang shield works. Yeah, that was really cool. Wow, I like these shrines a lot more. Aesthetically. The Night Sword. It resonates with attached Zonai devices to slightly increase his attack power. Cool! Like the, sh like the shit I got? Like the shit I got? Like the... Cool. Wow, that is super cool. You're making your own weapons. Now, if only we had a shirt. Personally, would have done pot. Um, wait, hold on. Is that legal in your state? What the hell? Get it like the drugs. I'm back and didn't expect the stream still being on. How's the game been? Oh, it's fantastic. We're still, we're still so early. I love these new loading screens. Game is great. Okay. Hello. Huh? Whoa! Was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? What? Huh? Uh, what is it? We're close to the chasm here, it's, so it's dangerous, you know? 
For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous too. My point is, lots of things are dangerous ever since the upheaval, so be careful, okay? <laughs> Goodbye. The people from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. I'm the I'm the target of the search party. I'm here. Do you not notice? Do you not know me? Do you not know me? Uh we'll read this later. Just put um just like a <laughs> the best thing for for book <laughs> a square a little diamond that's like a square turned on its turn like 20 degrees where's the book icon i know blink is that really you when did you get out from the castle i'm so ashamed i've been on watch duty here this whole time i didn't see you at all mm. i really got to get serious about my training captain Holtz doesn't know that you're back does he think you should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill, past the lower gates. Mm. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. <laughs> I like his ponytail. Also, why do you laugh like that when I turn around <laughs> and then I get shot? Flip. Hey, the show is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. Can't just come wandering in here like that. Oh? Link? It's you? I'm sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. But if you're back, does that mean we don't need the search party anymore? Huh. Let's go talk to Captain Haas. He's leading the search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. Oh, I love this. I love how... Unless you're insane, Hyrule Castle is, like, the last thing you do in the first game. And this is, like, one of the first things we're getting done here, is just going to the castle. It's all fucked up. It's out of the ground. It's so cool. This game really, like, I don't know, it, like, rhymes with the first game in a really cool way. It's like a sequel or something. It's taking way too long, man. Where's my rocket ship? I'm bald. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's me. Turned up nothing here that would help us find the princess, unfortunately. There's the spitting image of Link. I bet if Captain Haas saw you, he'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. These guys are giving me nothing to work with here. Scariest boulder <laughs> swing of my life. <laughs> hey, wait a second. nowhere. Incredible. It's too busy, I guess. Not anymore. Not for me. Let me up there. 
I'll talk some sense into him. Hey! Look at me! I can go through the ceiling. Keep searching. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. What? Like, is that you? You're alive. And all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Well, actually, no. Huh? Hang on, you're alone. But you heard the princess calling out to you. You had to help with the search. I see. Um, maybe I don't. Uh, I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Oh. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but I've been a bit dead in the water. Oh, Captain! It's Princess Zelda! Whoa. Whoa! What? Hello? Mm -hmm. Princess Zelda! She's safe! Here, kitty kitty! Here, whoa! Whoa! Oh! Uh, oh! Huh? What? Hmm? Did you... Am I crazy? Did anyone else see that? You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? Strange. This 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 is an emergency situation. I don't know how else to describe it. Why would she leave without saying hello or goodbye? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I it makes sense for us to withdraw, but we'll take a bit. Please, you must help Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. I gotta go back. Oh my god. Please. Spare me. Oh, at the very least. I can just... Wee! They got me, like... They got me going back and forth so many places right now. Fairies! Who said that? Central Square, like in Sonic? Oh no, that's Station Square. <laughs> when I close my eyes, many streams fairies. <laughs> Sorry. Here, we're officially entering Nap Cube. Uh, the, the sleep podcast. Tears of the Kingdom stream. <laughs> clink clock, clink clock. Yeah, this is a good ASMR for sleeping. I gotta, like, just, just take it all off. On bare bones, baby. Because we're a bare bones baby. Pose. What? Pose. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I can't. Is this enough? Pose. <laughs> oh, it's- oh, it's a praise symbol. Interesting. Just sucked his brains out. Oh, hold on. Hello. Hmm. Link. Well, did you find anything? Telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and that she transformed into light and flew off? I've 
I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval. Uh, for now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Ah. Oh yeah, you've still got the pure pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? It's a little worse for wear, but... Okay. It's a little bit weird, but... Seems to be functioning fine. Math, math, math. Aha! Mm -hmm. Oh, right. I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Joja, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Ah. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just a spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info... Mm -hmm. Oh, you talk to me. We got it. We got it all under control. Talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels... <gasps> oh my god, it was right there. <laughs> like the one place I didn't look. You should go to Mub Shop. I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah! Alright, Joshua, let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Check it. Joshua, you're in charge of the switch. Woohoo! Okay, Doc, you can count on me. All right. I was wondering if I should tell you, to be honest. Uh, the answer was no, so you chose correctly. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. This is, like, my exact fit that I got <laughs> in, in, in my uh, other save file. Well, except for the Zora swim armor. Damn. Start, we're starting with the basics here, huh? Technically, the defense is better, but like, come on. Hello. Mm. It's so great. Just so great. Oh. This Hylian armor series has caught your eye, too. This design is so cool, and it fits like a glove. It's popular with travelers, too, which means it's a must for adventuring. Hey, welcome! It's your first time at my store, right? It's the only place to shop here in Lookout Landing. I know it looks a little thrown together, but I stock a nice selection of goods. I ran a store back in my hometown, so I hope you'll support my place there. Your hometown? Oh. I come from a small fishing town called Lurlin Village. It's way to the south, on the southeastern corner of Hyrule. It used to be a peaceful place, too. Oh. Then the pirates arrived. Pirates? I used to run the village's general store, but when those pirates arrived, I had to grab all the goods I could and carry- uh, Grab all the goods I could carry and run. I don't know how it's going there now. Uh. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Please, let me know if there's anything you'd like. Anything else you need? Buy my stuff. Oh. <laughs> you give me money. Now. Alright, we need- like, at least, like, a hundred and something. Oh, God. Oh, good lord. I don't know if that's happening. <laughs> I don't know if that's happening anytime soon. What the fuck? What the hell? They crashed the economy. Oh. 
They crashed the fucking economy in this game. Nothing's gonna get me there. At least nothing that I actually want to sell. <laughs> we, <laughs> we can't afford a shirt! Uh. Oh my god. Please. Okay. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this bit of the map. And that'll be the last thing I do before we call it for tonight. Hmm. If I put this here and then that goes there, no, that's not quite it. Uh -huh. That should do it. Ah. Hey Link, you all set? Just wrapped up here myself. Travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Hey! We're ready, Joshua! Pull the switch! Hey! Okay! the fuck? Cool. Whoa! Wow. Towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Mm -hmm. Go hold the pure pad over that terminal. Cool. The Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here anytime, instantly. Same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your bureau pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? Ah. You've seen it before? What? You did it in the last game? What was that? I don't understand. You sound crazy. Anyway, Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The pure pad works with the sky view tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. Takes a lot of skill. Nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Oh my god, I literally... I, like, forgot I didn't have this yet. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Mm -hmm. Right. It's showtime. Let's start with a test scan. Ah. Now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. No fucking way. No fucking way. Oh my god. Wait. Just step over there into the circle and find me afterward all right huh. i'll be observing from the research lab yeah when the test scan is over we'll have the final briefing on the search for princess zelda and we'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wreaked the most havoc best of luck oh my god i'm so excited <laughs> no 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 wait 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 uh oh. Oh my god. Go, go! <laughs> no kidding. Wow! 
Oh my god, that's so cool. Surface map updated. Cool! <laughs> now we're just free to go. Oh, man. Insane. Okay. Friends, I think with that, I'm going to call it here for our first session of Tears of the Kingdom. I am so excited, but also I'm very tired. Um, I'm going to be coming back to do more of this tomorrow. I'm going to play the shit out of this game. So excited for more. We got a long, long adventure ahead of us. Hopefully we'll find a shirt next time. My luck has not been very full of luck. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. My brain, my brain is fried, as you can probably imagine. Dare I ask if anyone is going at this hour? No, okay, thank God, I can just go. All right. Thank you all so much for joining me for this first stream. I'm so excited. It's a it's a new beginning. We're gonna be playing this game for a while. And I hope y'all enjoy every second of it. Cause I certainly will. Okay. I'm so tired. It's hitting me now. All right. Friends, have a wonderful rest of your night. Please rest up, especially if you've been here the whole time. Oh my God. Thank you for all your support, all your excitement. I'll see you tomorrow for another session. Um, uh, play the game. All right. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Please take care of yourselves. Good night.